Hey, what's up everybody? OJ here. Welcome back to another OJ Live. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight on this glorious Xenoblade launch day. Seriously, man, it's been uh, pretty cool to uh, see all the impressions and people talking about Xenoblade and buying the game. It's doing really good, so I'm excited, man. I'm excited to kind of get into it tonight. Talk about some other gaming stuff while America is literally on fire. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get into this here, guys. We're going to start off uh, with some of the um, Elite Ninja news. Uh, definitely not looking good on Elite Ninja, but the channel's been doing well when it comes to viewership and stuff, guys. So uh, make sure you guys Elite Ninja up if you can. We're going to try to push a little bit more gaming-related things in terms of uh, gameplay sessions. Uh, probably some more stuff with Smash Brothers. Uh, some more hands-on stuff that I'm going to be giving you guys in terms of um, any Elite Ninja status here on Player Essence. We're starting to do the group-ups with um, Roundtable members and Elite Ninja and all that. So if you have not Elite Ninja up and you want to get in on our Super Smash Brothers, uh, Mario Kart, and all that good stuff, make sure you guys check out the link in the description. And there'll be links in the chat throughout the night. Um, we do got a new tier for you guys, uh, so check that out. Um, in terms of content... Um, I, obviously the big elephant in the room I wouldn't even say elephant in the room just basically my internet went out like we had an outage we just had it's not like my internet cut because of my equipment or anything like that we my internet service provider had an outage during my Xenoblade Chronicles definitive edition 12 hour stream so it wasn't due to the connection being trash or equipment faulty it was simply just due to there was an outage in my area it was just there was an outage um, sometimes it gets really hot and it melts cables and they have to go fix them. Other times it could be wind and other things. It just happens. Um, shout outs to Nightshade with the $5 donation. Says, hope all is well. Let's get some ninjas in the village tonight. Thank you so much, for Nightshade, for the $5. It does make you the top stream ninja and the stream Hokage. You guys give some love, respect, and emotes to Nightshade. And I'll definitely get your name up after the um, intro here. Thank you for the $5, man. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Um... So, uh, so yeah, that's essentially what happened. I'm sorry about that, guys. I was planning on playing it pretty much all day. But here's the cool thing. Because <laughs> here's the bonus. Because since we didn't have that, you guys got an extra video today. And you guys are getting this live stream as well. So I don't know if I would have played for the full 12 hours straight if I would have actually done this live stream tonight. I probably would have just, like, rested and just waited for the tournament tomorrow. So we did get two bonus things. We got an extra OJ live stream. And you also got an extra video in the morning. So... I guess all's well that ends well. Uh, we will make up the time though. I stream for about four hours. So I think we're, we're, I'm working with, um, probably working with one of our Elite Ninja here to get something for you guys next Saturday. Um, Saturday morning, probably have like a long Xenoblade stream or something like that. So we are working on making up the time and um, getting some streams. And uh, like I said, maybe if we get some Elite Ninja, maybe we can play for a bit tonight. I'm not really sure. Um, but I do have to prepare for the tournament tomorrow morning. I'll be up pretty early. So I'm not gonna be up too late tonight streaming um but it should be pretty good though but we do have the tournament tomorrow um the super smash brothers um ultimate pete the the great ninja war 4 here in the village it's going to be pretty good we have a lot of great players playing um definitely tur tournament caliber players guys that can go to tournaments um, and probably do pretty well not go o2 we got some guys that can definitely not go o2 we got some guys that have taken some pretty good wins i mean chuba um, he's pretty good in the canada region um you know um uh, party man doesn't go to tournaments but if he did he'd probably be one of the top players in his area you know um but we've got some good guys that are going to be playing uh so look out for that tomorrow morning uh we're going to start trying to going to start trying rolling around 9 a.m uh for it so it should be hand. pretty good i'm gonna shake your hand um all right let's see our ipsters also with the two dollar donations could you please play roll it off star fox cross taylor swift i'm not playing anything with taylor swift in there even if it's um even if it's a uh, uh <laughs> um a, a mashup but no I, i'm not putting anything with any but any type of celebrity uh like that so nothing with taylor swift he says lol if that's not possible that's not possible uh play world bowser uh world bowser from from mario 3d world all right we can definitely play that though but i'm not not playing anything Taylor Swift. She's she's actually crazy about copyrights. She's one of the worst about copyrights in terms of music uh, content creators um, and like stuff like that. I mean, this this girl copyrighted the year 1989. So um, if she copyrights years, imagine what she does with her music. So which is fine. It's her music, her deal. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, she's a psycho. She's definitely a psycho. Anybody that copyrights a year, she copyrighted literally. She literally copyrighted the year 1989. Um, so, so yeah, 
Um, but yeah, we're <laughs> we'll get the other music. Uh, we'll get the other music going in just a bit. Uh, let me go ahead and get it going right now. Actually, um, world Mario Mario World Bowser Bowser from Mario 3D World. All right, let's go ahead and get this track going here. All right, thank you for the two dollars, Ipsters. Let's go ahead and get Nightshade up at the top here too. And if you guys are here in the chat, feel free to say hi. Be more than happy to say hi back to you guys. And remember, we also have a, um, like I said, um, Elite Ninja stuff. So you guys, Elite Ninja, uh, thank you, Mellow Wolf, for the host. Appreciate that. Um, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the host. While I, I typed in another <laughs> question marks, let's see here, Nightshade, Night Shade. Thank you for the five. The five dollars. There you go. That's how much it was. Five. Thank you, Nightshade. I appreciate that, man. You're the homie. And uh, thanks again to uh, Ipsters for the two dollars, man. I appreciate that. All right. Let's see here. Uh, THC says play Xenoblade for ten hours straight. Nice. Um, yeah, I can play my song of choice. I'll play another song, Nightshade. Thank you, though. Um, Victor C. What's good? Dior Wilson. What's up, man? Beverly Carter. Uh, Party Man is here. What's up, Party Man? Kirby Team says, yo, what's up, Kirby Team? Eric P donated $2 and says, um, OJ, we love you. Mumbo Mountain Music. All right, we'll definitely get some Mumbo Mountain Music going. You guys give some love, respect, and emotes to Eric P. We're going to play this one one more time, all right, guys? Um, just because it's really short, this World Bowser theme. So we're going to play it one more time for Ipsters. Um, yo, Jeremy, thank you so much for the Elite Ninja Pledge. Welcome back to the tune-in squad, my boy. Thank you so much for that Elite Ninja Pledge. Shout out to my man, Jeremy. Uh, 19,912. Shout outs. Let's go. Welcome back. Dave G is here. Cedric Matoas is here. Flip999. What's good, Flip999? Uh, Dake Meme is here. Deontay. What's up, Deontay? Gunmetal Otaku. Nigel Sims with the $5 hollas through Super Chat. He says, player says, what's up, OJ? Looking fresh with the Vegeta tank top, even though you about to bust up the bust out the KMS. <laughs> it's all love playing uh, Ninja Storm. Uh, love playing Ninja Storm Four right now. All right, sounds good. Vegeta blue. It's it's actually it's actually an Etika Joy-Con boy shirt, but yeah, it's kind of like the same Vegeta blue tank, you know? It's kind of like the same Vegeta blue. Uh, let's see, Silk Reese. What's good, Silk Reese? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Shout out to the Fire Nation over there on Twitch. Um, D Money, what's good, D Money? Welcome to the stream. Shout outs. Uh, Dawson, what's good, Dawson31? Welcome to the stream. Hey, OJ, sorry you couldn't do the 12 hour stream. Yeah, it happens, man. It just happens. We'll definitely make it up, though. I'm planning on maybe doing like a 12 hour stream for like Super Paper Mario, or not Super uh, Mar uh, Mario, um, Paper Mario, the Origami King. I'm probably maybe doing something like that, or like a six hour stream, like a really long launch stream for that so we'll, we'll kind of we'll, we'll keep it going with those type of streams we'll see if we hit some goals and things like that um all right so i'm gonna play another um track from i'll play i'll play some beneath the mask something chill i'm in a i'm gonna chill mood tonight i'm gonna chill mood tonight um let's see here thank you for the uh donation once again nightshade appreciate that hey mellow wolf what's up man welcome to the stream thanks again for the host once again um 12 hour club. I don't know if I can play clubhouse games for 12 hours. Beastly, what's good? Bead Queen is here. Shout out to the Elite Ninja. El Realist. Chubacabra is here. Psycho Pie, once again. Good to see you here. Shout outs. Um, Beverly Carter, what's up, man? Um, yeah, I had fun. When I was streaming, I had fun. It was it was great fun. It was really, really, really good fun when I was streaming uh, Xenoblade. Um, the replay is up, so you guys can catch the four hours that I did stream. You guys can catch it. I was having a ton of fun. It was great. We were just getting into some of the good parts, too. Um, but I played pretty much, like, the rest of the night. Like, I actually played the game. I captured footage, and then I did a video. So, I actually worked. I, I mean, I didn't take the rest of the night off. It's not like I did it. I didn't work, you know. I played the game. I captured footage. I got a video ready for you guys, you know. And I did to, uh, later. So, it's not like I'm slacking, you know. Because, like, that was something that we, we hit a goal for. So it's like, hey, look, I'm still going to make it up. I'm still going to make up the hours. And I also did extra work on top of that, right? Because, like, we weren't supposed to have a video today or OJ Live, regular OJ Live. I wasn't sure if we are going to do, like, a regular OJ Live today. So, um, so yeah, I'm not slacking on you guys, you know? Um, 
Let's see here. Um, Papa Jake and hey, what's up, Papa Jake? It's been a while since I seen your name pop up in here. Good to see you. Um, getting ready for the tournament tomorrow. Hey, Andre, what's up, man? Welcome. Um, Andre, I gotta DM you guys so we can get like the final details for the tournament tomorrow morning. Uh, so, but I'll be up early. I'll be up like at you know six, seven a.m. my time. So that'll be like you know your nine. 10 o'clock your time so just so we can get all the final details uh set ready to go but everybody should get a good night's rest though like i don't want anybody if you're playing in the tournament tomorrow get sleep don't stay up all night playing xenoblade because i don't want any johns tomorrow okay so if you're playing in the tournament tomorrow get sleep please okay we need everybody at their best we need a good show we don't need people that are like tired as hell because they played xenoblade all night all right so get sleep please okay guys people that are playing in the tournament get sleep be rested, uh, be rested, eat well, try to get some exercise if you can beforehand, I don't know, do whatever you need to do, but don't go in there sloppy as hell, okay, don't go in there eating a bunch of junk and fast food, take care of your body beforehand, and go into it with your mind mentally ready to go and sharp, trust me, tournament nerves are a thing, and I'm telling you guys this so you guys don't get tournament nerves, it doesn't matter if it's online or not, it doesn't matter if you're playing against Nairo or you're playing against of you know chuba or oj you know what i'm saying like tournament nerves are a thing when there's money on the line so i'm just giving you guys some tips so you guys come in there with your mind focused okay if you're eating a bunch of junk and not drinking water and not not getting sleep you're going to be stressed out you're going to be you're going to be antsy and you're going to make mistakes and you're going to lose so and you're not going to play your best you might still lose but at least you know that you played your best you know so come in there ready to go guys all right um <clears throat> hey what's up mandy welcome to the stream good to see you here um, you'll be up early as well. Okay, Andre, that's cool. We'll make sure that we coordinate everything. All right, man Matthew Jenkins. What's up, man? Thank you. I appreciate that um, Yeah, I heard about uh, bug fables um, Let's see here, but I don't really feel like playing it right now at least I got too many Nintendo's getting me a bunch of copies of like all the borderlands and all that crap I'm getting all of those games XCOM get, I got to cover all of those games and I still got to cover Minecraft dungeons I just don't have time right now for bug fables. I'll be honest um, plus Xenoblade coverage um, eat the PB and J with extra peanut butter, my man Ronald. <laughs> hey Ronald, good to see you, man. Welcome. Um, Christopher, hey, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. How you, how's it going, Christopher? Um, Patrick Courtney, what's good? Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Savage Animator, what's good, man? Uh, won't do good, but happy. Don't. Hey, Psychopie, don't count yourself out, man. Um, plan on getting up early, getting all the preparation done. Great minds think alike. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, it's gonna start at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. L realist 9 a.m. Um, let's see here. Uh, Rog Roderick, what's up, Roderick? Welcome to the stream. The goat, what's up, man? Um, yeah, it's okay. The goat, it's fine, man. Just just enjoy watching the stream tomorrow. Uh, Watcher Girl 19, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Shout outs. Chris Osborne, what's good, man? Welcome to the stream. Um, Patrick Courtney, let's play some Mortal Kombat after Monday. Hey, there you go. Sounds good. Uh, sounds good. Michael Hightower. What's up, man? Welcome. Um, let's see. OJ, you look so much younger than, uh, than you are. You hip AF? I, I don't know if I'm hip, but um, I'm 46. So, yeah, people always say that I look a lot younger than I am, you know, just because I'll tell you because I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do crazy things. And I take care of my skin and I eat pretty healthy vegetables, lots of lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of grains, whole grains and oats. So, yeah, I take care of myself. But thank you, man. I appreciate that, Christopher. Um, let's see here, um, R, R, Y, R, Y, says Xenoblade is hard, hard as in like, do you mean like, is that slang, it's like, oh, it's hard as AF, like, oh my gosh, like, it's like cool, or do you mean like, it's like hard as like, it's actual difficulty hard, <laughs> which one, um, all right, let's see here, next up is Mumbo Mountain, Mumbo Mountain, thank you so much, uh, Mr., Mr. Uh, Eric P, thank you for the uh, thank you for the the donation. Uh, you legit don't look a day over thirty. Uh, I can definitely go for over thirty. Look a day for over thirty. But thanks, man. I appreciate that. This is. I hope you can get another long stream in the future. Uh, but my offer still stands, so we can finish the details later. Yeah, you want to aim, Dawson? Uh, you want to aim for like maybe we do like a, a, a sponsored stream for that like next week Saturday. Maybe we can aim for that. Um, and I'll still stream, but we can just aim for that. Um, so it just depends. Depends on what you want to do, Dawson. Or we can do like what we did with, uh, remember, remember what we did with, um, with Party Man and with, um, with Barber? Like with the, like the cross, you know, two different, your favorite franchises that you like. And like, we can do like a whole show 
based around that, or we can just do a long, a big old long stream of Xeno Lay, you know? So it's, it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, but like I said, we can DM me what, what you want. Um, Sonic P. Um, what's good, Sonic P? Um, shout outs. Welcome, TH3 is here. Um, I don't believe you're in your 40s. Impossible. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, I am. So, I mean, I don't know what you want me to say, bro. But, hey, it's all good, man. Um, I'm playing Mumbo Mountain. <laughs> um, all right. It is, it's impossible. It's okay if you didn't do the 12-hour stream. Uh, fatigue is uh, really past three hours. It, it, um, it wasn't really because of stream fatigue, Mandy. It, my internet went out, you know? Um, it had nothing to do, but I was rested. I was ready to go. I've streamed for long times. Yo, a room with the Toby Buster. Let's go. A room with the 15 becoming the top stream ninja. And he says, it's been a rough couple days. Thanks for the streams. Play something cheerful. Okay, definitely. Peaceful days. That sounds like a cheerful song that we can play. Um, yeah, man, it's been pretty rough out there. I don't know if you're talking about your own personal life or if you're talking about just in America. America's been rough. Uh, there's a lot. Actually, as we speak, there's a lot of stuff happening right now. I don't really want to get into it. I talked about it on Twitter, though. So if you want to talk to me about that stuff on Twitter, go ahead. But yeah, I'm definitely not. I'm not in like the most cheerful of moods, but it's good to talk to the homies, though. It's good to talk to you guys. But yeah, man, it's 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 rough for a lot of people out there, man. It's rough. It's rough. This has just been a it's been a it's been a uh, it's been a crazy week this week in America. Um. <clears throat> So let's see here. Um, hey, what's up, Mitch? Welcome to the stream. But no, like I was saying to Mandy, Mandy, I was actually ready to go. I, I streamed for four hours. I was taking breaks every three hours. You know, got something to eat in between. I was good. It's just my internet. I just had an outage for three hours plus. I had an out outage, but I was totally ready to go for the twelve hours. I, I and the thing about it is that I actually stayed up the whole amount of time. I didn't go to sleep. I stayed up and played the game, captured footage, and worked. So I had no problem staying up that whole time and working, you know, and streaming a game is easier than editing and, you know, and, you know, capturing footage and shining all these bright lights on you. Like editing can get like, you know, tiring at times, whatever. Um, so yeah. Hey, I know nice badge update. Um, nice badge update. Um... Let's see, is it me or are we getting more and more into trying Xeno games? What are the chances that Xeno Saga or even Xeno Gears remade? They're pretty low for both of those games, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hey, what's up, Joe? I, Joe, I, I think... Is that an upgrade? That might be an upgrade from tuning in to Jonin. I'm not really sure, but shout outs to Joe. Thank you for the upgraded Elite Ninja membership, man. I appreciate that. Or thank you for the Jonin tier. Appreciate that. And uh, shout outs to Arum. Thank you for that 15 once again, man. You guys give some love, respect, and emotes. If you got that Toby Blaster emote. I didn't see too many Toby Blaster. Oh, okay, I did see him. Spam a couple more for my man, um, for my man, uh, Arun, man. Helping out the stream with that big $15 donation. That does make him the top stream ninja and stream Okage. We're going to go ahead and nicely display Arun here. And by the way, Arun, for those who don't know, you guys know, like, the Buck Bumble. Arun is the Buck Bumble originator. So he has a very unique, uh, title, you know, here on Player Essence. <laughs> He started this whole Buck Bumble thing. That was a room. Um, so shout outs to a room, man. Thank you for the 15. Thank you, Joe, for that Elite Ninja membership, man. I appreciate that. Um, all right. Let's see here. Um, Abdul was one says we need a, we need a Switch Pro. Nah, not really. Switch is selling really well. We don't really need a Switch Pro right now. We need a we need a Switch 2 or a Switch Pro when it's actually ready, um, and it's feasible. You just don't you can't force it. If you force it, it's going to be overpriced. It's going to have two hours of battery life, and nobody's going to buy it, no matter how powerful it is. Um, so nah, we don't need it. We need um we need good planning. We need good strategy. We need them to make it affordable. It needs to be. It needs when it's ready, it's ready. But we don't we don't really need it right now since the Switch is selling so well and good games are still coming out. But it's all good. I guess that's the easy thing to say. We need Switch Pro. That's what people say. We need it. Not really. But hey, it's all good. Um, think whatever. People can have their opinions, right? Um, all right. So let's see here. Next up, music-wise, is 
Um, I think it was I, Nigel Sims said Ninja Storm Four, so I'll play some Ninja Storm Four for you. You didn't request the music, but I'll play some for you. All right, uh, Ninja Storm Four. Char the character select theme is really good for Ninja Storm Four. That's it's a pretty good, pretty good. Game. Um, let's see here. When it says welcome, uh, that's a new pledge. Otherwise, it says it says upgraded. I'm not really sure. They counted it as a new Elite Ninja one. I don't know if they've updated it or not. Dang, I gotta double check. Um, let's see, but I don't know how... Go, I, go. I'm not reading it. Stop tagging me with your messages. I'm not reading off your messages complaining about your internet, dude. Like, I'm done. Um... Let's see here. Uh, do you think the PS5 might look similar? Yeah, let's go ahead and get into topics here, shall we, guys? Uh, so let's talk about the PS5. So the PS5 reveal is going to be next week. I will be streaming it. Um, let's go ahead and get the details from Sony themselves. So Sony says, uh, you're invited. A look at the future of, future of gaming on PS5. Join us June 4th at 1 p.m. PDT Pacific Daylight Time. So that's 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, PS5 or PlayStation.com slash PS5 um, with each generation. Okay, he just keeps on talking. They're gonna. Um, all right, so let's see here. Uh, we've shared technical specifications and shown you the new DualSense wireless controller. But what is a launch without games? That's why I'm excited to share that uh, we will soon give you a first look at the games you'll be playing after PS5 launches this holiday. The games coming to PS5 represent the best in the industry from innovative studios that span the globe. Studio, um, studios, both larger and smaller, those newer and those more established, all have been hard at work developing games that will showcase the potential of the hardware. The digital showcase will run for a bit more than an hour, and for the first time, we'll, um, we will all be together virtually experiencing the excitement together. A lack of physical events has given us an amazing opportunity to think differently and bring on uh, bring you on this journey with us and hopefully closer than ever before this is part of our series of ps5 updates and rest assured after next week's showcase we will still have much to share with you please join us on twitch or youtube on june 4th at 1 p.m pdt 9 p.m bst 10 p.m c uh, cest to see what's in store for the next generation of games hope you can all i hope we can make you proud i hope we can make you so there you go um i'm looking forward to seeing what they have to offer man um ps5 obviously they haven't really been showing a ton of different uh a ton of different things with it it's been pretty slow but i, I didn't really have too much of a problem with that i knew they were going to have some type of big event where they kind of showcase games and all that so this is the event for that man this is this this is it um all right so let me go ahead we're going to go ahead and stop this uh thank you nigel sims for the donation Next up, we're going to play some Peaceful Days, even though there's not Peaceful Days going on, but the Hope for Peaceful Days. <laughs> the Hope for Peaceful Days. Uh, we're going to play that. Um, all right, there we go. So what do you guys think about this PS5 reveal event? Um, let me know your thoughts. Let's see here. Um, uh, Sega rumor. I don't know if it's a Sega. Is it a rumor? Uh, we're talking about the PS5 though. Reveal. We're not talking about Sega. Um, game looks beautiful on Switch Lite. Loving it. Nice. Uh, what? What bloody tears? Uh, mix play on the countdown. Uh, me more bloody tears. Need a price tag. I mean, Mandy, it's probably gonna be five hundred dollars. It's probably gonna be four ninety nine. I mean, if they got it to three ninety nine, I'd be very shocked. If they got it for three ninety nine, that's a home run. But there's not going to be enough units anyway for people like to mass buy. It. There's not going to be enough units anyway. So I mean, it's going to be hard to find. But I think it's going to be five ninety nine. But if they got it to four ninety nine, I'd be shocked, and it'd be very good if it was at four ninety nine. Or sorry, if it was at three ninety nine, I think it's going to be four ninety nine. But if it's at three ninety nine, I'd be shocked, and that'd be good. So it'd be good if they can get that done. Um, let's see here. Let's go. I'm excited for the Sony event, even though I think they'll show games that won't come out until 2023. Yeah, they're definitely gonna, there's definitely gonna be some smoke and mirrors there. Um, let's see. Happy with my PC. If they have any good exclusives, I'll potentially buy it. Otherwise, meh. Well, you know they're gonna have good exclusives at Sony, so you know they're gonna have, like, I mean, if you like God of War, Uncharted, The Last of Us, Spider-Man, Ratchet and Clank, you know, Days Gone, stuff like that. 
with the occasional big third party exclusive, with the occasional third party exclusives here and there, you know, um, then, then yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Um, hey, what's up, Alonzo Vines? Welcome to the stream. Um, let's see here. Chrono Trigger remake at the PS PS. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, let's see here. I'm not planning on getting another uh, system this year, but I look forward to some uh, good next gen RPGs. Yeah, it should be interesting with the RPGs, you know, and how they do it. Cause like the loading times, it's like the SSD and all that. So I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. I'm doing good, Alonzo. How are you? You need an Iron Man game like Spider Man? <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll get one. They just got done with Iron Man VR, or maybe the um the what's it called the Avengers game coming out. Maybe that'll be like you know a game that's pretty cool for Iron Man. Um. Hey, what's up, Mensa? Welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing today? Welcome. I'm gonna play some jazzy NYC till we get a new um, donation music request. All right, guys. I might play something different too. Um, let's see here. Um, ASAP. Hey, what's up, ASAP? Bro, says, um, I gotta be honest. I um, I could care less about the event. I just don't like the majority of Sony's interactive movies. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 not for everybody. Sony makes a lot of, you know, single player, you know, um, cinematic experiences, which work for them, you know, um, that's like kind of their goal for their company. Um, but it's all good. Some people like that style. Some people don't, you know, there should be some pretty good third party games there too, though. We might maybe see the first glimpse of Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy 16. Uh, Michael O'Brien says, hey, players, uh, just got my Xenoblade uh, copy today. Since since day one, I finished Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Been hoping this would be ported. Looking forward to playing it. Nice, man. Yeah, I was looking forward to maybe playing it again, you know, with some updates. But it's it's really good. I like it. I'm enjoying it. Um, do you believe the PS5 might look similar to other consoles, to its other consoles? Uh, yeah, I don't really think there's going to be a drastic change in terms of the design for the PS. I mean, they're all just variations of a black box. So, I mean... The PS2 was a, like a really ghetto looking black box. PS1 wasn't. It was like a whitish beige looking thingy. Gray, or sorry, gray, more like a gray box. PS2 was just a, you know, a black box with really ugly looking DVD line, or DVD, like ghetto looking DVD player or VCR player. And PS3 was just a sleeker, big old fat thing at the beginning. PS4 was just a sleeker box. You know, they're all just black boxes. Um, Cedric Matos with the $5 holla. And he says, can you play Congo Jungle, Super Smash Brothers Melee song? Here's the link. Okay, I can definitely get that going for you. Thank you for the $5 holla. Appreciate that. You guys give some love, respect, and emotes to, uh, to, to Cedric Matos with the Congo Jungle. Shout out. PS3 was a grill. Yeah, a George for super big grilling. Not a George Foreman grill, but like just a grilling machine. Hey, what's up, Troy Perry? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Gravity Rush 3? I don't know, man. Gravity Rush 2. Mick, Mick flopped. Mick, Mick flopped. So, but I mean, I love Gravity Rush games. I'm a big fan of, uh, big fan of Gravity Rush myself. Um, this game's, this game's rare. It's hard to find this one, Gravity Rush Remastered Physical. Um, so, big fan of Gravity Rush myself, but I don't know if we're gonna, I don't know if we're gonna see the, I don't know if we're gonna see, uh, I don't know if we're gonna see Gravity Rush again, I'll be honest. They shut down the servers for the game too, like almost barely after the, the game came out. That'd be dope, I'd be down. Um... I'm just going to call you Double A. It says, do you think Switch can compete with next-gen consoles? Of course it can. Um, but I don't know. What, what's your idea of compete? Do you mean sell? Is the Switch still going to sell with PS5 and Xbox One? Yeah, it's still going to sell. 
Is Switch still gonna get games with PS5 and X? Oh, sorry, Xbox Series X. Yeah, it still is because there's 57 million people that have the system. So, but I don't know what your definition of compete is. Do you mean like in terms of graphics and all that? No, PS5 and all that's gonna look way better. But in terms of like sales, yeah, Switch is gonna be right there. There's not gonna be anything different. I mean, the Xbox, the Xbox One X is way stronger than the Switch. And Switch absolutely flat. <laughs> absolutely bodied and if you want to even to an extent the ps4 pro switch absolutely killing ps4 pro and xbox one x in sales so i mean you put out a str even an even stronger box more expensive boxes how's that gonna knock switch down when switch is gonna continuously get games some of y'all too into this fanboy uh war console war stuff y'all don't look at it from a just look at the, the proof look at the evidence right in front of your face Um, Savage Animator says, I hope they show a new Crash game. That'd be, that'd be dope if they show a new Crash game. I think that's possible if they show something Crash. That'd be dope. Uh, put a shut on your screen, the internet connection away. Uh, hey, man. I, I'm pretty sure I have a, it's a tank top on. And where I live, it's extremely hot where I live. So, this is actually pretty normal for people to wear tanks all the time. So, no, I'm good, man. <laughs> um, I noticed Bioshock collection on the Switch memory space was around 12.5 gigabytes, but one of the collection was like 12.5 by itself. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. We're talking about the PS5 event. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I mean, maybe we can address that in the in the random Q&A section. But I mean, I don't know what to say right now. But I'm I'm thoroughly confused by how Bioshock collection even works. If you want the game, just get it. Have some space available. If you don't if you don't want to get it because of certain space, then just don't get it. That's that's my that's my uh, pro tip to anybody out there with Bioshock. Just if you want to make the space and get it, get it. If you don't, then don't. Um. Yeah, if you don't want it, then don't get it. It's all good, man. But I'm glad that the games came out. I'm, they're going to be giving me some review copies for the game, so I'm going to check it out. The game is still the game. The game is still really good. So, I mean, if y'all don't want to support games because of certain file size space or whatever the case is, don't complain when, when new game. Don't complain when new games don't come, you know? Don't complain because that's what every single system does. All systems, there's mandatory space. Nintendo has these cartridges that are really expensive so they can't you can't fit three remastered big old huge bioshock games on one cartridge you're not even going to be able to fit it it's 70 gigabytes on the ps4 and the xbox one people say oh they're not good at compression they compressed it down to 40 to 40 gigabytes they, they cut it by 30 gigabytes like <laughs> i don't know what people want from the what more can you do unless you want the game to look like 240p then people complain about the resolution if you want to compress it more, you're going to have to lower the texture quality. So I, I don't know what you want them to do. If they did that, then you say, oh, the game looks like crap. So then what What do they do? Like, <laughs> they're like, in, it's like a no one situation for them, you know? Um, what do you expect from third parties um, on, this, on the Sony's, uh, Sony's show? Maybe RE8 or, Resident, or Final Fantasy VII uh, Part Two. I don't think Final Fantasy VII Part Two is going to be there. That's too early. Um, Resident Evil 8, yeah, definitely a possibility. I know Sony had a Resident Evil 2 remake on their E3 before that game launched, so I think maybe like a Resident Evil game, that'd be something on there. I don't think it'd be exclusive, though. Um, not exclusive, though. I think they would just show it off first there. Um, John Doe says, oh, I'm here for Marlon's stream, get hype. Hey, shout out to John Doe, thanks for coming out to the stream, homie. Um, some people are also speculating about the Sonic Adventure remaster or even Horizon 2 being shown at the event. Yeah, that's actually a good good call. Um, I think that like the Horizon 2, I think that is like a, definitely a possibility since you know that's a 2017 game. You know, it did really well for them over 10 million units, better than any Killzone game that they made. So I don't think they're gonna go back to Killzone anytime soon. Uh, maybe after Horizon Zero Dawn 2 is done, but I think yeah, I think they're gonna shut up. I don't I don't think it's gonna be like a launch title or anything. But I think it's going to be, like, they're, they're definitely working on Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Um, Michael O'Brien says, do you think the next Final Fantasy game will be Final Fantasy 16 or Part 2 of the remake? I think there's going to be um, Final Fantasy 16. I think 16 is going to come next. Because I, from apparently, the rumors say that 16 um, it has been worked on since 2017. So if they've been working on it for three years, I think it's probably going to come first before Part 2. So, but we'll see. 
Um, so it's G, uh, take two has GTA money. They're not broke. It's not about having. It's not about having GTA money. That's not. That's not what it's about. It's not. That has nothing. Nothing to. Nothing to do with it. <laughs> nothing to do with it. Even if they had a 32 gigabyte cartridge, you'd still have to download some extra. Download extra stuff. And that's the biggest cartridge size. It has nothing to do. It has nothing. It's not about being broke or not. It's about a simple business just doing whatever is feasible for what they're gonna sell. I mean, that'd be great if they can get 32 gigabyte cartridge, but there'd still be an extra download. There's no cartridge bigger. It was 70 gigabytes on the on the PS4 and Xbox One. It's 40 something gigabytes on the Switch. So you'd still have an extra download, like. Right? Because <laughs> Nintendo decided to go with cartridges, but even if Nintendo decided not to go with cartridges and they went with what Microsoft and Sony did, it'd still be, it'd still take up space on your hard drive. I mean, it doesn't. There's no ifs, ands, or buts or any way around it. It's either we go this route and you get some space that's not taken because there's a cartridge there for you, so it saves you some, or you go the PS4 and Xbox One route where it literally takes up space no matter what. So I don't really know what you guys are looking for, honestly. Like. It either takes up it either takes up all your space if it's like PS4 or Xbox One, or you save some space on Switch. Like <laughs> Go buy the PS4 and Xbox One version then. It takes up 70 gigabytes on your hard drive. So just go do that. If, if the Switch version's horrible and that just it's on PS4 and Xbox One, it's 70 gigabytes over there. Um so there you go. Um <laughs> Dank Meme says, uh, will we see a snippet of the console? Maybe Sly Cooper? I think we're definitely going to see the console. I think I think we'll see the console at this event. Um, I think we'll see it. Yeah, it's pretty much pick your poison. I mean, if you're mad about saving space and it being 30 gigabytes smaller, all right, that's fine. Go go play the 70 gigabyte version of the game. Um, correction, the largest card size is 64 gigabytes. Ken Teo, show me a game that has 64 gigabytes of card size. Give me Give me one game. Name a game that has 64 gigabyte card size. Name one. Or give me give me any type of resource or any type of article that shows that there's 64 gigabyte card, card sizes that are ready to go in production for developers to use. Um, let's see. Werewolf King says, um, "Have these people ever heard of, uh, SD, of SD card? You can't you can't write games to an SD you can't write games to an SD card like that. It doesn't work. <laughs> you can't write games to an SD card. Um, the free on Epic Game Store tweet though. Who cares? It's Epic Game Store." Nobody cares. If people are that are on Epic Game Store, they can play on Epic Game Store. If you want to have a version that you can play anywhere, who cares? Like, those games have pretty much been free anyway. They've been like a few dollars anyway. I don't know why people are salty about that. It's so stupid. Who, who gives a damn? <laughs> like, if you want to play it on Switch, play it on Switch. If you want to go on Epic Game Store launcher and play it on there for free, go ahead. Who gives a shit? <laughs> people crying over all sorts of stuff. Who cares? Like, who, if it's, if, are you like, oh, well, it's free now. I'm not going to buy it on Switch. Bro, if you wanted the games, you would have got them. You would have got them regardless. They're freaking dirt cheap. You know how much I bought those games for on PS4 and Xbox One? Like ten dollars. You would already got them anyway. All they're trying to do is get people to. The reason why they're giving away is because they're trying to get people to go to Epic the Epic Game Store, but nobody wants to go to the Epic Game Store to download games. So who cares? I, I'd rather pay for it than go through the Epic Game Store. Like down if they I mean, and we've had stuff that's like PS Plus or whatever for free. It's just like who cares? Y'all, yeah, some of, some of y'all mad corny though. <laughs> some of y'all seriously, actually, like y'all upset about, or y'all bring it up. Some of you guys bring it up in tweets, but don't care. Or you, or like you're just gonna buy it. Anyway. Like who cares? Stop worrying about how much it's gonna sell on Switch or what it is. If you want to be, if you want to get the game for free, then go take advantage of getting the game for free. What are you worrying about the impact on Switch? Go get the game for free. If you want the game for free, go get the game for free. Like if you want to play on Epic store game launcher go play it on the epic store game launcher for free it's good for gamers you can play it on switch if you want it on switch you can play it on epic game store launcher if you want it on the epic game store or or you can just not care and enjoy your games why are you worrying about what people aren't like worrying oh it's not it's real man it's sabot nobody's sabotaging anything it's the epic game store launcher um <clears throat> He 
just I paid a hundred dollars yesterday just to have it on a hundred dollars? That's too expensive. Solo Nepion, what's up, man? Um Oh no, I know what you're saying, Matt New. I wasn't I wasn't hating on you. I was just simply bringing it up because people were people were crying about that to me. Like they're telling me, well, OJ, you gotta do something. I ain't doing nothing. I'm not doing anything. Y'all be getting upset over any some people be getting upset over anything. I'm not I'm never gonna get upset over PC. PC games are dirt cheap anyway. Borderlands has been two dollars on it's essentially been free. Um, Steam, it's been, these Steam sales and everything, all these games are essentially free at times. They're like a couple dollars, you know? Like, if you look at the work that Virtuous has done, they literally ported over all these games. 2K spent millions to get these dudes to port over all these games. They literally spent like multi-million, millions, millions of dollars to get this, to get these games ported over. It has nothing to do with their deals with Epic Game Store or anything like that. Just play where you want to play. Um, play where you want to play. I think people just want Nintendo want Nintendo Switch to be the ultimate system and only system out there right now. What kind of world domination and bison crap is that? People can play what they want to. Um, let's see. Epic Games gave me GTA Five for free, so that's pretty cool. GTA Five is like five. I'd rather buy it on PS4 or Xbox One. For like ten dollars or whatever it is, then play on an Epic Game Store. But then again, it just depends, I guess, financial situation or whatever it is. But I'm not, I'm not a fan of Epic Game Store. I'm not a fan of PC launchers. Like I'd rather just buy the game physical if it's like cheap as hell. I still won't take it from these places. And like, there's all sorts of like crap. Whenever you install the Epic Game, from what I understand, like installing that Epic Game Store launcher, it's all sorts of like weird files and stuff that downloads to your computer. I wouldn't, I, I don't trust them either. You know, I don't, I don't trust the Epic Game Store, but it's all good. Was Temtem pretty pricey on Steam? I don't, I don't know. I got a, I got a, I think I got a copy for free, but I haven't even played it. Actually, no, I didn't get a copy for free. I'm, I, I picked the Switch version. I backed the game. I picked the Switch version though, so it's coming. I think it's supposed to be coming this year. I'm not sure. Um, Switch using flash uh, SSD memory. PS4 uses uh, HDD memory, which is much slower, bigger, and cheap. Okay. That okay. Chuba was talking to somebody else. Okay, I got you. Um. <clears throat> See, I think Michael O'Brien, you don't understand. You don't understand uh, the way that it works, because you said. The console that would benefit the most from large native storage given its portability that's not a benefit to the consumer let me give you a reason why the reason why large native storage isn't a benefit to the consumer because s uh, because flash memory is too expensive it's very very expensive for flash like built-in nan memory um sd cards are much 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 cheaper so if nintendo put 200 something flash memory you're going to get a system that's like $600 because flash memory is just extremely pricey. So I don't see how that benefits the consumer. What benefits the consumer is obviously putting the amount of memory that's going to get it at an acceptable price than having SD memory cards, having an SD memory card slot that you can use any SD memory that you want, right? It's not, it's, it's the, it's not proprietary. For example, PS Vita was screwed because PS Vita, instead of using regular SD memory, PS Vita went with proprietary memory that was very expensive because it wasn't what we already have like you know like this right here like micro SD like 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 this right here these little micro SD cards so that's actually for a portable system that's actually the best for the consumer is to give them the option to to buy their own memory because you can make the system much cheaper because the PS Vita didn't come with really any onboard memory. It came with barely anything and then proprietary memory was very expensive. Whereas the Switch came with 32 gigabytes and you can use any SD card, you know, the normal SD cards that you want and they're becoming extremely cheap uh, for SD memory. So that's actually the better option um, in terms of things if you're looking at it, not making sure like oh it's gonna put a bunch of memory in there it's gonna jack the it's gonna jack the price up or nintendo's gonna take a fat hit on profit what's the point of doing that which i think people still don't understand people still don't understand that um that's that, that people still don't understand people still don't understand that um 
There's no 64 gigabyte card ready, nah. There's no 64 gigabyte card ready. It's not ready. It's not ready for mass production. It's not ready. There's no games. So it might as well not exist. There's no games that are ready for it. It's not ex It's not cheap enough. It's not even cheap enough for 32 gigabytes. It's still too expensive. Most developers won't do 32 because 32 is still too expensive. And they just got 16 gigabyte cartridges down to about the same price as a Blu-ray. So there's still some time to be had. It's going to be a process before 64 gigabyte cartridges are even um are even i'd probably say switch two that's when we're gonna see 64 gigabyte cartridges be a thing you know uh, would be switch two or the next switch but it's not gonna be anytime soon maybe 32 gigabyte cartridges next year will be cheap enough to where developers can use those more because now 16 gigabyte cartridges are becoming more and more common whereas 16 gigabyte cartridges were not as common in 2017 and 2018 but uh, a lot of developers used eight gigabyte cartridges um but now we're actually starting to see developers use 16 gigabyte cartridges so i think probably next year maybe 32 becomes more affordable and then maybe the year a couple years after that so 2023 2024 once nintendo gets the next system out then 64 gigabyte cartridges are going to be a thing but it's not it's still going to be a while before those are feasible uh the switch with the ssd would cost a thousand dollars well it'd have to use flash memory because ssds ssds are too big so the NAND flash memory, which is fast, by the way, it's fast flash memory. Um, but yeah, it would cost it, it would cost a lot. Um, let's see, it's all good. Uh, can can tell you. There's a there's what's it called? There's there's been some articles and there's been stuff about 64 gigabyte cartridges, but it's just not ready yet. It's all good though. We come here to learn. Um, heck, everyone's been wrong. <clears throat> no biggie. Um, I know I don't understand. That's why I said I didn't understand. I was asking a question. Yeah, exactly. That we're explaining it to you. Uh, OJ, I'm serious. Everyone, like everyone I have, uh, I know has a Switch, and when I talk about PS4, Xbox One, they don't only. Well, I mean, no. There's a lot of people that have PS. There's a lot of people that have PS4 too, though. It's not just. It's not just Switch. There's a lot of people that have PS2 or sorry, PS4. There's a lot of people that have Xbox One. Just gotta look at the sales numbers. But I mean, if you're if you're a circle of friends or people that you know have it, that's cool. That's great. Obviously, Switch is the newer system out of all of them, so people have it, and it's like pen people are pandemic buying, and Switch is hot right now, right? Legend of Zelda and Mario and xenoblade and all the games that they do you can play it anywhere that you want it's good for pandemic right it's good for because your parents are always home or people are always home your family's always home so you might not have access to the tvs or you might need to just want to plug away and play in, a, in your corner or whatever so switch is good for that ps4 and xbox one you need space you need the chair you need the, the tv you need to be sitting in front of it you know where a switch you can go on like if you got bunk beds in your room or if you got you know you share a room you can go lie down on your bed you know what I'm saying? Turn your corner, put on your headphones, and do what you want to do. You don't need a lot of space for Switch, whereas you need space for PS4 and Xbox One. A lot of people live in boxes these days. You know what I'm saying? If you're in New York or if you're in uh, certain areas, it's, you don't get a lot. A lot of people don't got a lot of space in their house. You know, so Switch is perfect for that. So people are buying them up. You know, so it, it fits for right now. But even before that, people were buying up before it. But you know, I mean, like I, like I said, I'm not, I don't, I don't think that. I think we need all the systems in order for things to be competitive and for things to be good. We need P PS5 and Series X to do well. Uh, we need everything to do well. We, I, I would like it to be like seventh generation. You know, seventh generation was the like you know super era for gaming. I mean, everyone just had a surge. Like everything was good. PSP was good. Uh, DS was was killing it. You know. Um, you know 3ds came out a little bit later in that and that was killing it um not at first but then it started killing it i mean like ps3 360 they had their hurdles but they got through so we was doing well we need we need a generation like that that's what we need um eric p with another two dollar donation thank you so much eric for the donation appreciate that um all right okay we got a music request too good good and he says hit me with the goat sleepless city channel final fantasy 9 all right sounds good we'll definitely get that going for you thank you for the two dollar donation man thank you um appreciate that sleepless city channel all right this sounds good man this sounds good let's do it Thank you for the two. You guys give some love, respect, and emotes in the chat uh, for my man Eric P. Um, appreciate that. Let's see here. I think I managed to get a 32 gigabyte Vita memory card for seventy dollars several years ago. Yeah, see that's crazy, huh? Um, 
All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next topic here, though, boys, shall we? I think it's time to move on to the next topic. We're all looking forward to seeing what Sony shows, but you never know. I mean, I don't know if this system, like, I personally feel like the PS5 is going to be, um, uh, it's, it's basically the PS4 remastered, you know? Um, it's not going to be anything crazy. There's not going to be anything crazy innovative with it in terms of things. There's going to be a nice little bells and whistles, uh, but it's not going to fundamentally change the way games are played or anything. It's just going to make everything that we had before an even better. Uh, which is fine. Um, there's going to be some cool features, though. I think there's going to be some dope stuff, but you know, nothing that's going to make me say, oh my gosh, that's crazy, you know, because I wasn't blown away by, like, anything that, like, even, like, that Unreal Engine demo. I wasn't really, it's just, it's just what we, it's like Horizon Zero Dawn, but just better looking. I mean, there's nothing gameplay-wise that made me say, oh my gosh, that's the next generation of gameplay, or nothing functional-wise that's, like, different from, like, me taking a game and I can play my game anywhere that I want or anything like that. It's just, it's just going to be what we got, but better, so that's cool. So, yeah, I you know so that's good that's good i guess right um all right so current topic we're gonna go ahead and move on to um i think it's nintendo switch placeholders right is that what i got next up yeah mystery for okay we got some mystery first party games um that are uh going down here um from nintendo on amazon so let's go to move on to this here guys uh, four Nintendo or four placeholder Nintendo listings pop up on Amazon France as well. So, uh, if you didn't check out my video earlier, or if you saw the news, um, you know there was these mystery third-party listings from big, big ones: Square Enix, Bethesda, Capcom, Take Two, uh, that were on Amazon. You know we're getting right around that E3 time, so this is when you know companies start having these listings that pop up, which I've been covering for a long time. But now we have some first-party ones uh, from Nintendo themselves. We've got four different ones listings. Uh, for games, so um, who knows what these could be? Um, they're all listed for release dates of December 31st, so we just don't know when they're gonna come out. But there's listings there, and they usually end up being some type of games, but I'm not really sure what it's going to be. Um, some people are speculating the Mario collections and stuff like that, and it's not paper, it's not paper Mario because that game's already that game's already uh, has a listing and pre order and all that, so it's not paper Mario. So, what do you guys think, man? Hope one of them is Breath of the Wild 2. It could be Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah. Could be Breath of the Wild 2, that's for sure. Could be that. Could be Breath of the Wild 2. You never know. I'm going to repeat this. Um. Let's see here. Mario Odyssey 3 Easy Clap. Okay. Mario Odyssey 3 Metroid Prime Collection. Yeah. Metroid Prime Collection. I mean, the thing about it is that these could be like, they're announced so you can pre-order them, but they don't come out this year. That doesn't mean that they're coming out this year, right? So it doesn't mean that. Um, actually, mobile storage is getting cheaper. 32 gigabytes for a standard um, in S7 and SP 2017. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's 20, hypothetical for Switch 2. Yeah, but I mean, even but even look, look at look at what you're talking about, like Angel Page, 256 gigabytes. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's still not a lot in the grand scheme of things, right? So it's feasible, but that's still not a lot because of the price of SSD memory. Whereas, like if you look at Microsoft and Sony, like those SSDs that they're packing in, there's no way they'd be able to do flash memory because you have to have it small. Like to make it flash memory, that's tiny. That's for mobile. You know, so that's even more expensive. SSD memory is getting cheaper, but 256 gigabytes, that's not going to be compared to the one terabyte or the two terabytes or whatever they're going to be doing for, I think, or 800, I think it's 800 something terabytes that you're going to get with the PS4. The PS4, or the PS5 gets you 800 something terabytes and the Xbox Series X gets you one terabyte, right? At least with the base models. Uh, with expandable SSD memory, with Sony being able to use um, anybody's and Microsoft, it's it's proprietary SSD. So I mean, like, this stuff's getting more and more expensive. Yes, it's getting cheaper, but you know, there's it's not. Well, basically, what we're saying is that it's not feasible for flash memory to be packing in 200 something gigabytes of flash memory back in 2015 when Nintendo was making this Nintendo Switch system. There's no way. For Switch 2, yeah, they could, but I think they're gonna go with 128. Honestly, I think like for Switch 2, they're gonna go with 128. And they're going to go with big, they're going to have 64 gigabyte cartridges. So I think that's what they're going to go with in, you know, in, in a few years. I think they're going to go with 128 and 64 gigabyte cartridges. That's just my thoughts. Uh, mobile SSD, not flash. Nintendo's going to use flash. I think they use flash. I don't think they're going to use mobile SSD. 
Are you thinking uh, Breath of the Wild 2 because they might have uh, more third party games a little bit for second party games, if possible chance? I don't know. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, bro. What is that? What does that sentence mean? Um, Dawson says, uh, missed you talking about this, but uh, were the listings the ones reported earlier this week from Amazon France? No, these are actually separate listings, my man, Dawson. These were um, these are the, the ones for Nintendo France. Those were third party listings. This one is first party listings. Now, I think it's still um, Amazon France. It's still the same Amazon France, but it's just first party listings remember the ones that we talked about before those were all third party so those were like bethesda square enix stuff like that this is all nintendo first party so in total there's like like 12 or 13 listings or something like that with four of them being nintendo first party and like the rest of them being uh, various different third party com major third party companies like square enix ubisoft bethesda stuff like that so um we have a xenoblade sales position chart on uh, we don't have the sales data yet I just couldn't, I couldn't fit everything that I wanted to fit in the 100 character title, so, so yeah, but we're, we're going to talk about that in just a bit, all right? Um, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying how if first party games in Nintendo, so that's mean they can announce third party games. We must speak different language. Beverly Carter, I, I don't know, I don't, I can't decipher what you're trying to ask me, bro. Um, I can't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're trying to ask me, man. <laughs> I don't know. Let me read it again. I'm saying how if first party games in Nintendo, comma, so that's mean they can announce third party games. <laughs> Bro, I'm not trying to be mean. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that sentence means. I really don't know what that sentence means. Um, but it's all good, dude. Um, if anybody knows what he's trying to say, let me know in the chat. Um, so, so yeah. Error invalid. Invalid input exception. I think Nintendo will use the newer uh, UFS flash memory standard that is somewhat comparable to the Series X, uh, Series X SSD and speed. SMD64 talked about it a while back. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you, had the little, you had to add a little asterisk right there, Mitch. <laughs> no, hey, shout out to Super Metal Dave. Shout out to Super Metal Dave. Um, yeah, man, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do. It's going to be interesting to see what they do. I mean, I don't know, man. Um. I don't, I don't want to sit here and say anything because last time, dude, I got body four years ago. It, we're going on the four year anniversary of the Great Massacre. Uh, <laughs> the four year anniversary of the Great Massacre of October 2016, bro. Where, uh, where two guys basically, uh, <laughs> man, we, I, dude, we got. I got, I got, no, man, I'm not even going to sit here and try to say it's going to be this or it's going to be that or this tech or that tech. No, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but no, I mean, if they did that, cool. If they don't, cool. I'm just going to stay uh, neutral, neutral on that one, man. I ain't, I ain't trying to get bodied like I did before. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, just check out my uh, 2016 uh, Nintendo NX reveal. Just check that out, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Still to this day, in the Spawncast, they give me, they give me, they give me crap in the Spawncast. Still to this day, they'll give me crap. Like they'll post pictures of like, <laughs> they'll post pictures of like, uh, like you know, our face and stuff. So I mean, like, I still get crap for that. So I'm good. I'm good because like me and Nate, we didn't start off like really cool, you know? Because like. Mainly because my fault though. I was I was the idiot, not Nate. Not only that, but I actually had somebody tell me exactly what the switch was well before Eurogamer reported it. I had somebody tell me what the switch was, and I didn't pay attention. I didn't listen because I was listening to what Dave was saying instead. So I had two people telling me different things. I didn't know who to believe, you know. So I kind of went. I should have went with the other person that was telling me. And this person that you know that I you know that's told me. You know, they've been correct on a number of different things. They've been more correct, but I didn't know back then. This was like 20, 2015, I was told what it was. 2016, I was told what it 2015-ish, 
2015 or early 26 early 2016 or um, late 2015 i was told this so um, so yeah um I think he's saying um, from both uh, comments, um, if they have a lot of third party, they don't need many many first party games. If they have Breath of the Wild 2 lineup, is that what he's trying to say? Okay, cool. Did the fact that Paper Mario is coming in July make you think uh, they have a bigger title coming for the holidays? Uh, because they did it, uh, they would just uh, hold back Paper Mario. I don't know. I don't know about that. We'll have to wait and see. They should have something pretty good for the holidays though. Um, Mac Mega with the three dollar holla. Just how many of those mystery games do you think come out this year, OJ? A few of them. Also, can you play Smash Ultimate Zelda Overworld and Underworld, please? Yes, I can. Thank you, Mac Mega, for the three dollar hollas. You guys give some love, respect, the most to Mac Mega supporting the Elite Ninja stream. Overworlds, Overworld, and Underworld. Thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think some of them are going to come out this year. Yeah. Um, Haruka-chan, hey, what's up? How's it going? Uh, I'm saying if we if we can get first-party announcements from Nintendo, OJ, that's what I mean. Yeah, there's going to be some first-party announcements, Beverly Carter. Yeah. Um... Savage Animator says, do you think some of the placeholders will have second or third party games? Well, yeah, we already knew about that, Savage Animator. Did you check out my video? Um, we have Bethesda, Capcom, all that. There's a bunch of third party games. Some of them could be second like second party or something like that. But, I mean, what we know is that they're all third party from the, the, from the first listing. And the second listing was Nintendo, guys. I'm not sure if you guys still understand or if you guys aren't deciphering my videos. Some of you guys don't understand. Look, there was one listing... That had a bunch of let me let me go over it again since people aren't understanding listen so there were numerous different mystery games for skus we had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven skus two from warner bros two from square enix two from ubisoft three from bethesda one from capcom one from take two all of them were nintendo switch or all of them were a combination of Nintendo Switch and Xbox, or Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox, or just Nintendo Switch by itself. Alright? So, those were all listings that were found. 11, 11 of those. Then, later, there was a separate listing for four Nintendo games. So, it was third-party games from Warner Bros., Square Enix, and all, and then Nintendo listings, alright? So, hopefully, everybody understands, because y'all asking me questions like, if it's third-party, it's like, yes, I, I talked about that. Um... Eric P with the five dollar holla. He says, "Do the kids a favor for me. Play Final Fantasy Tactics Night Attack." All right, Eric P. Thank you for the five dollar holla. Thank you for the multiple donations tonight and the blessing us with the nice music, man. I appreciate that. So, uh, but yeah, thank you, man. You guys give some love, respect, and emotes to Eric P for the five dollars. Appreciate that. Matthew Jenkins says, "Do you think we'll see a Zelda game get released this year?" Not necessarily Breath of the Wild 2, but even just a part of an older Zelda game. I think that there maybe couldn't be a Zelda game this year. Uh, maybe they're loading up for the Zelda 35th anniversary. So Zelda turns 35 uh, next year, right? So I think they might have something pretty cool planned for next year. Breath of the Wild 2, um, various different Zelda games sprinkled throughout the year. Um, things like that. So maybe even something else. So I think that's maybe what they're going to do. I don't know if there's going to be a Zelda game this year. Although there was the rumor... Uh, that Nintendo wants a, 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 some form of Zelda game every single year. So maybe we see something else. I think it's very possible. Maybe we see like a remaster of like maybe like Four Swords or something like that for this year. I think that's possible. Um, <laughs> Wand of Gamelon. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for that one, dude. That's going to be great. Um, that's what's going to be really good. Um... Faces of Evil. One of those two. I think they're going to remaster Hotel Mario while, while we're at it, right? Um, Blue Bolt. My man, Blue Bolt with the $2 holla. Thank you so much, Mr. Blue Bolt. And he says, can you play Astral Chain Savior? Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for showing the love tonight. I do appreciate the donations, guys. Thank you. Um, really does help out the streams. So thank you guys so much for that. And, of course, we'll have the little notification pop up in just a bit here. Um, but, yeah, I can play Astral Chain Savior. Absolutely, man. How you doing tonight, Blue Bolt? Uh, Mario teaches typing. I think like a Mario Paint though. That'd be dope if they released the Mario Paint bundle. 
I gotta be down with the Mario Paint. Star Fox Grand Prix is Grand Prix is real. Grand, Grand P, that's not good. Grand uh, Pre. Pre is real. Okay, fine. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Mr. Blue Bolt. How are you? Um, you said fine. You already said fine. So yeah, I'm doing good, man. I can't. I can't complain. I'm a little. I'm a little tired from staying up all night and working and editing and playing Xeno and all that, but. It's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, all right. Next up is Final Fantasy Tactics. Final Fantasy Tactics. Night Attack. Night Attack. All right. This is a good theme. Um, all right. Um, all right, so let's see here. Any other thoughts on this here? Mario and Link are missing. Mario and Link are missing. That'd be fun. Link's crossbow training too. Okay, so maybe Nintendo makes another um, peripheral for uh, for the crossbow, like they did with the Wii. The Wii was king of the peripherals. You had tennis rackets, clubs, all sorts of stupid plastic in your house. You know. Um, all right, take it easy, Beast. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Savage Animator says, for some reason, I ignored the part where the SKU showed the third-party games. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Well, they showed the they showed the, the companies, so you know that the third-party companies, you know. Um, you playing Xenoblade Chronicles uh, before you crash? Um, I'll probably play it on like on my TV out in the living room um, and just like chill, just so I can get just like I feel like resting tonight because we have a big stream tomorrow, and I got the Spawncast tomorrow as well. The Spawncast tomorrow is going to be pretty. Gonna be pretty pretty packed. There's a lot to talk about. So, um, but I'm gonna start getting ready for the uh, PE podcast episode 100 as well. So, there's a lot of different stuff. I, I also, my my um my art guy got back to me with uh, with some art. I think I'm liking the logo, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm liking the new logo. I don't know. I don't know. What do you got? I, I might show it to you guys and ask you guys what you guys think about the logo. I think it looks okay, but um, I'm not sure. I kind of want um, Evan to do the logo, but it's all good. Um, yo, Juice Man Vaughn with the five dollar holla. Juice Man Vaughn with the five. He says, "Can you play um, Amusement of Crime? Amusement of Crime? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Juice Man Vaughn, for thank you for using Streamlabs. Do appreciate that, and thank you for the five dollars, man. You already you've already done enough, man. Thank you so much, uh, Juice. Sorry about the whole, you know, the." situation with the whole 12 hour stream you know juice man bomb was one of the sponsors for that stream um and i'm actually legit upset that it didn't go down but like i said we will make it up i did do a bonus video for you guys extra you know oj live tonight um and we will make it we will make up the rest of those hours we will get a big stream uh, we will make that up and we are gonna do some dawson's gonna um we're gonna do some stuff here so we're gonna do some extra stuff so uh, so it's all good man thank you for that though juice thanks for the five man i appreciate you coming um, hey, what's up, Alan? Welcome to the stream. How you doing, man? Um, I heard your Xeno stream got cut short. Yeah, yeah, my internet. I had an outage in my area. My whole area, my whole area had an outage. It just wasn't my internet. My whole area just had a had an outage of of that. So, so it sucks. Um, it's all good. I don't care about that for real. All right. Hey, thanks, Juice Man. I appreciate that, man. But like I said, it's just it is what it is. I was just kind of like, eh, you know. Uh, shout outs to Eric P. Thank you for that five, man. Hopefully you enjoyed that night attack music. And yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics. I'd like to see that come to the Switch. That'd be dope. Um, Astral Chain Survivor. Survivor. All right, let's play this music. Astral Chain. Let's get it. Uh, hey, Vizion. What's up, my boy? Welcome to the stream. Um... Venom in 1985, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Welcome. Um, is there hidden details as well, OJ? I'm talking about the Breath of the Wild 2 story mode. I mean, hidden details within the the, the the trailer that was shown? Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you go to like HMK or you go to like Commonwealth, those guys have done multiple different um, analysis of the videos or like Game Explained. So there's definitely some hidden details. Just more like speculation too. 
in and out of the stream watching the movie places uh, what did you talk about the mystery games yeah there was uh 11 mystery games that were listed on amazon for, from different various third party companies and then there was four mystery switch first party games that are like first party that were listed from amazon france as well so uh definitely looks like even though we're not getting e3 oh snap you know we got a hold up i'll get them to we got a toby buster and a new top stream ninja let's go yo shout outs uh alan I'll get you, I'll get your I'll get that shout out just a bit, but yeah, we had there was basically a you know Nintendo listings for third or Nintendo listings for first party games, four of them, and then like eleven or so third party listings. And E3 is supposed to be this time, so those would be like E3 announcements. But those listings are up there, just like you know, like we've had before. Um, uh, but shout outs to shout outs to Alan E with the twenty dollar Toby Blaster, and he says pockets, pockets. Dollars, let's go. Thank you so much for the 20. That does make you my man, my man, um, Alan. Makes you the top stream ninja, my boy, with that 20. And the stream Hokage. So shout out to you guys. Give some love to Alan. Alan with the freaking donation. Got him up there. Top stream ninja stream Hokage, man. Thank you so much. Alan E. There you go. This song is super cheesy. It's it's good cheesy. It's good cheesy. Thank you for the 20 though. Um, I, uh, yeah, I saw your video early. Yeah, we, we were talking in this stream. We were talking about the four Nintendo first party uh, ones, Andre. So there's four first party listings. So we we're kind of speculating on what we think we could see. You know, is that like a Breath of the Wild 2 for next year? Is that like Mario remasters? Could we see maybe something from Zelda as well? We just just kind of speculating on what it could be, you know. Um, no such thing as good cheese. Oh, there's that was thing as good cheese. Yo, V I S P Awakening the Ryuji. Thank you so much for the five dollars. Thank you guys for blessing me tonight, man. I appreciate you guys' support. Honestly, I'm kind of in a bad mood. Like somewhat, not a bad. I'm just not in a. I'm not in a. Not a bad move, but I'm kind of in a somber mood because I'm a, like I don't like it when I don't deliver on content. So it's not because like I'm not like like I'm I'm a, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm hyped to be here. Obviously, I'm still doing everything, but I'm like it's just I don't know. I just when I don't deliver on something that we that we planned for months, it just makes me feel like just makes me feel like like I can't shake it. So thank you guys for the support tonight. Um, a lot of you guys have been saying really encouraging things and making me feel a lot better because when I went off air, I was kind of like depressed. You know. So a lot of you guys were like, hey, man, it's okay. You guys were like, a lot of you guys were like, it's okay. You know, you're good, you know. So thank you guys so much for that. And uh, you guys are showing support tonight. So thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, VISP donated $5 and says, um, just finished Shin Megami Tensei 4 and about to play Xeno for the first time. Um, thanks for all the content. Could you play Battle Theme B1 from Shin Megami Tensei 4? It's a banger. Yeah, that is a banger. Uh, thank you for the $5 donation. Yo, and um, hopefully enjoy the Xenoblade, man. Thank you. Um, let's see. Let's the next one up though is Juice Man Vaughn's for that five dollar donation. Um, Amusement of Crime. Um, so we're gonna get that going. That's Street Fighter um, EX. All right, is this one it, Juice Man? Is this it? Troy Perry says you're welcome. What if one of them was Buck Bumble Definitive Edition? <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. I keep getting clapped in Xenoblade. Should I be grinding? You should be doing side quests. Yeah, you should be grinding and doing side quests. If you're getting clapped, it's because you're trying to you're you're being too much of a fraud. You need to you need to stop stop just going forward. This is not this is not a you know uh, this is not uncharted. You know like and I mean not like bad fraud. I mean like you're you're not you're not leveling. You're trying to save the world. Think about it. If it's your own life, if this is your own life and you had an opportunity to save the world. Are you gonna be weak or are you gonna be strong? You're gonna be strong. You need to practice. You can't be. You can't beat the world being a scrub. So that that if you're getting if you're getting clapped, that means you're not you're not training. So think about it that way, Justin. Uh, let's see here, uh, bro. How can you be mad about the stuff out of your control? It's 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 not. It's just disappointed. You know, I know it's out of my control, but still, you know. Things happen, bro. There's always another day for it. I know, I know, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen, though. 
Um, I don't know if I'm playing Xenoblade tonight. Nah, I think I'm just gonna relax. I mean, I'll play Xenoblade like in the living room, just relax and uh, just like go to sleep early tonight so I can wake up and get everything ready for the tournament tomorrow. Then we'll, we'll definitely get a stream going for Xenoblade at some other point. Um, so yeah, I'm level seven and the boss was level. I'm level seven and the boss is level eight. Yeah, the fact that you're only level seven, that's such a scrubby level to be at, you know? Like I, I just, I'm, I'm like level 14 and I haven't really played any real bosses, you know? Uh, Vizion with the $5, it says, thank you, OJ, for your content is needed in these times. Yo, Vizion, hey, salutes to you, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate, I appreciate the five, that Ryuji. <laughs> I appreciate the Ryuji awakening, man. Thank you. That's your inner rebel, by the way, guys. I like that. I like that one. And the reason why I kept it is because it's like, it's like your inner rebel coming out for player essence, you know? Becoming part of the team. Ryuji was the second, the second person to join, pretty much, right? Phantom Thieves. He's the second one to kind of get it. So it's like awakening that inner rebel, you know? So I, I like I like it. Uh, so you're gonna make up the rest of those hours uh, with Zork? No. What earphones do I use? These are called Audio Audio Technica earbuds. You can get them on Amazon for like $15. Um, what game are you gonna get us all hyped now that Xenoblade uh, Definitive Edition is out? Well, Paper Mario's coming out um, um, in July. And then we've got uh, Last of Us Part 2. I don't know if I can get you guys hyped about that, but we're definitely going to be playing that in June. So, whatever releases come out. Uh, we got Borderlands. We got Bioshock. We got, man, we got all sorts of stuff. So, I got a lot of, I got plenty of, you know, plenty of content and plenty of games to, uh, to, 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 you know, to go over. So, so, yeah. Um, let's see here. Te the big man, 10th gen with the $5 holla. Um, and he says, uh, the village will always uh, survive the storm. Hey, man, for real. Thank you so much. Thank you for that five. All right, take it easy, Werewolf King. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Thank you for that. Um, all right, so let's see here. We got some more music. Oh, as much as I'd love to play Street Fighter EX3. We got some more music to play here. Thank you for that uh, five. Um, Alan didn't donate any, uh, or he donated 20, but he didn't ask for any music. Since you got a top stream donation, uh, since you, or you passed a top stream ninja and stream Hokage, you get two tracks, my man. Uh, so if you got two tracks, Alan, let me know. We'll swing back around to those. Uh, we're going to skip up over next to VI, VISP. Um, Shin Megami Tensei 4. Shin Megami Tensei 4. Um, uh, bang, uh, B1. All right, yeah, this one's this one's pretty good. Mid boss battle theme. Yeah, this one's like uh, this one get this one, this one you know there's something that you better be on your own point. Um, let's see, uh, Ryuji had a permanent spot in my party, no matter uh, no questions asked. Exactly, Ryuji's dope. He's a rebel. Uh, Juice Man Bond donated a dollar and says, "Hey, let's uh, let's play that strange sunset out. Right, I got you, <laughs> Juice. I got you." We'll play that straight. I think I was gonna play it regardless. Oh, but we'll we'll definitely play it. We'll definitely play. It. Maybe we'll play it twice. Then um, let me see. I'm looking for Alan. If Alan's gonna request a couple songs. Uh, Bioshock on handheld was said to be good. It is pretty good from what I understand. It's good handheld. It's good docked. They're very solid ports, which is sad to see people dismiss them because of this file size. They wanted to make it look good. They didn't want it to be. You know, a le like look like a crappy version of the P. They wanted it to look like the PS4 and the Xbox One release. You know, they wanted it to look just as good. So it's gonna be a bigger file size. But they they did a damn good job with those ports, man. They're solid and being able to play Bioshock Infinite anywhere portable. That's that's OD. Um, but like I said, I'm getting some review codes. So so yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have some footage for you guys uh, next week when I get all of them downloaded and all that. All right, take it easy, Beverly Carter. Have a nice night. Bravely Default 2 theme and anything from Persona. All right, we'll get those up. Um, we'll get those up right away, all right? And then Perso Bravely Default 2, then Persona, okay. I hope the collections do well. Well, like you said, uh, the ports are good. They're, they're very good. Virtuous, Virtuous is the new panic button in my, in my book. Um... Very good. Just got Xenoblade Chronicles. All right, there you go. Hey, what's up, Grubby K9? Welcome to the stream. 
see here. What happened to the stream this morning? Yeah, it, essentially, it, my internet cut off, uh, Camden. So I couldn't finish the stream. I had an outage in my area. Still waiting for my copy from uh, Xenoblade, shipping from GameStop. Yeah, people had some delayed copies. Nintendo actually ended up sending me the Definitive Works uh, set, so it was very nice of Nintendo to send me that. Um, so, yeah. Alright, any other thoughts on these mystery skews? I guess we can move on to the next thing here, guys, alright? Alright, so go, kind of going off the back of these mystery skews and all that. Saber Interactive, the guys behind The Witcher 3 on the Nintendo Switch. So, you know, they've got they've got some pedigree there, right? Um, so the guys behind The Witcher 3, they actually um, they actually talked about the Nintendo Switch and what it can do. And they said they think that there's still some power left in the system. So let's go ahead and go over here to what Saber has to say. So here's uh, Mr. Karch. Here's what his full words are. The upcoming Switch version of World War Z is actually more challenging than the port of The Witcher 3. Uh, we are big fans of Nintendo Switch and feel that there's still a lot of great potential in the hardware and the platform. We, we have had enormous success so far launching many titles on the Nintendo Switch or on the Switch, um, and we are continuing to develop for the platform. We do feel there is more developers can get out of the Switch hardware, and we think fans will be surprised at some of the upcoming titles for it. So, yeah, man, there's still, there's still games, man. There's still games coming. Like I said, I'm excited for the next generation of platforms because obviously PS4 or PS5, Xbox Series X, they're going to be beautiful. But I, I think I think there's just something magical about having games in the palm of your hand and having it, whether if it's not your main system, maybe it's your side system, that's fine. Having games anywhere is dope, no matter what way you slice it. Just like having a cell phone is dope, no matter, you know, like there was home phones, but cell phones were still a thing, you know? Uh, portable music players, portable DVD players, portable everything. So it's cool to have both. You can have big home stereos and you can have portable music as well. You know, they, they work in tandem. So that's kind of how I see the Switch. Um, for some people, it will be their main system. For other people, it won't be. Um, Blue Bolt with the $3 and says, Can you play one of the songs from Xenoblade uh, based on your pick? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Blue Bolt, for that $3 holla. You guys give some love to Blue Bolt in the chat for $3. And thank you for using Streamlabs this time. I do appreciate that. It does help us out a bit more. So thank you. Um... <laughs> uh, all right, Troy Perry. Uh, is this random Q and A? Uh, no, we're not in random Q and A yet. Although I haven't been, I haven't been changing the topic. We're in the um, more power from Switch. All right, so or Saber on Switch, Saber on Switch. So yeah, World War Z is an interesting game because World War Z, that's like a game with like a bunch of zombies. It's like Left for Dead basically, which. Obviously, there's no new Left 4 Dead. That game did very, very well. World War Z did very well on the PS4 and Xbox One. They had like a double A mentality to it. They're like, we don't need to sit there and have the best graphics or have everything. Just make a really cool Left 4 Dead clone type of game with our own little twist. And let's not charge full price. I think that game was, I think that game was $39.99 or $4.99. It wasn't full price. And that game sold millions of copies like instantly. You know, and they're like, yep, we made money. And then after they made that money, they're like, all right. Put it to Switch, you know? Let's get it on Switch. So, I mean, it was a good call. It was good business all around on their end. Um, we'll see how it works on Switch and everything. But um, I got confidence in the Saber developers, you know? They're, they're pretty good. Uh, they're pretty good. So, yeah. Um, yep, my Switch isn't going anywhere. Um, it's going to be Switch and Xbox Series X for me. Exactly. Exactly. They work in... I think they work in tandem. This is, this is a good thing for the industry. It's a good thing for the industry. Because the thing about it is, like... You want people to know that games are being played. So, like, when you take a Switch and you take it to the subway or to the bus stop or on a plane, it doesn't matter that it's Nintendo's brand. It's the fact that people are playing games anywhere. So it makes more people cognizant and aware of video gaming. That's the reason why, you know, Phil Spencer and these guys, at the end of the day, you know, like, they're in competition, but it's about the industry as a whole. We need everybody to get this thing done, you know? Um, so, so, yeah. Um, all right, next up is Persona music. Persona 5 theme. Yo, Papa Jake and Awakening. Um, with the $5. And he says, good luck tomorrow, everyone, except Chupa. <laughs> 
that's funny. That's super funny. Actually, we're gonna play. We're gonna play this from Persona. I do like this song. I know Juice Ben Vaughn originally. Uh, this is Persona 4 Arena Ultimax Margaret's theme. So I, I like this one a lot. Uh, let's see here. Hey, fellas. Thank you for the five, fellas. though. Yo, shout outs to Eric P with the three dollar holla. And it's just Mad Monster Mansion on ban on that banjo kazooie, please. Absolutely. Thank you for the support tonight, boys. I I honestly from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Um I really do. Thank you. Thank you for the support, man. It, it makes the streams and everything keep going, keep it smooth that we can stream. So thank you guys so much. I'm blessed and I'm honored to have you guys, you know, as friends and as you know, the users on the channel. Seriously, you guys are freaking amazing. Thank you for the support tonight, guys. Um, but we'll get that going for you, Eric. Seriously, we'll get that going for you. Thank you, guys. I, appre I appreciate y'all. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. What's up, guys? We back. We back. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's get into uh, the random Q&A. So if you guys have questions, I've got answers. Unless you guys got anything to say on what Saber had to say about the Switch. L, L Realist says tissue break. Nah, you're one of the best content creators in my opinion. <laughs> Yo, thanks, man. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, L Realist. Um, nah, I would, no tissue break, man. I just needed to, uh, you know, go blow my nose. Just, I had a little stuffy, you know, a little stuffy something in my nose, man. You know, I just had to, you know, get it out. I'm good though. Thank you for the five though, L Realist. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see here. Hey, it looks like we get another stim check, peeps. <laughs> if we don't burn down America before that happens. How's Minecraft Dungeons ever get a chance to play it? Yeah, I played a little bit of it. Um, I'll have my full thoughts um, in a video coming up pretty soon here. Yo, Eric P, what is this? With the... Brain gun! Eric P with the 50 tonight? Yo! Eric P with the 50? What the heck? And he says, things are weird these days, but we all appreciate what you do. Thank you, and definitely um, some chinchilla spinning jutsu. Yo, Eric P with the 50 becoming the top stream ninja and the stream Hokage by far. Thank you so much, Eric P. Um, if you've got some tracks that you want me to play, Eric, feel free to suggest... Um, at least three to four different tracks, at least minimum. You can suggest like five if you want, and we'll play some music uh, for you for that $50 donation because you did top stream Hokage and 
Stream Ninja. One fell swoop there. So thank you so much for that. You guys give some love um, for Eric. Supporting the stream huge. Uh, with that 50, man. But yeah, times are times are rough for everyone, man. But you guys are making it a lot better, man. So thank you guys so much for the support. Um, I really do appreciate Like I said, I appreciate I know I've been saying that. But honestly, you know, after the disappointment of the, you know, the the 12-hour the you Xenoblade know, stream, like... I mean, I don't know why, but it just, it just, it just didn't sit right with me. I know it wasn't, it was out of my control, but it just doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me. You know, it just doesn't sit right. I, I, I still think that maybe, okay, maybe we should have had it earlier. Maybe we should have done it the next, maybe we should have had it today on Friday during the day. So there's not doubt because downtime is more likely to happen during the nighttime, you know, during like the early hours of the morning when nobody's there. Right. So that's when downtime is more likely to happen. Um, so there's like you know i was just thinking all sorts of different things but no thank you man i appreciate that um thank you for the 50 man that's very nice of you guys give some love to eric p um thank you uh, let's get some new music here though um so next up is um i think the next one up in terms of music Um, Tension didn't ask for anything, but Attention, if you want a song, feel free. Also, uh, Vision, you didn't ask for anything, but give Dank a song if you want a song. Uh, Vision and Tension. Um, Juice Man Vaughn did ask for Strange Sunset, though. Strange Sunset. Oh, God, what's going on here? Yo, Papa Jenkins with the Toby Blister! Let's go! Yo, oh my god, yo, what is going on? We're getting blasted with another Toby Bluster! Let's get it! Yo, shout outs. Yo, two Toby back to back Tobys? <laughs> Toby's dr driven into the ground. Yo, shout outs. Yo, Papa Jakin with the $20 haul, and he says, Oh, OJ said. Here, take some money and buy some Arizonas. <laughs> I'll buy some Arizonas for sure. Thank you. Thank you for that. Although my CVS closes hella early now with the pandemic. So I can't. They're always closed by the time that I'm done streaming. But thank you, man. Thank you for the 20. Um, I'll buy some. I'll buy some in the morning. They open by 7. So I'll go buy some before the tournament. So I can have some nice um, Arizonas here. I, had, I, had, I hadn't had an Arizona in weeks. And then uh, I bought some Arizonas before the stream yesterday. So, uh, so yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Thank you for the thank you for the support, boys. Um, Double D with the 20. And he says, just cop two copies of Billy Hatcher and the giant egg, complete with manuals and a box for $160. Okay. Video game real estate is fun. GameCube is hot right now. Yeah. 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 I just actually caught, you know, David, um, I'm, I don't know if you saw this already, but I just caught, uh, I just caught one of these. So, uh, so I just caught, I just caught this. So that was a, uh, that was an interesting purchase. I also got some uh, Naruto games that I caught, some good Naruto games. Um, and I got some other games. I got some other games coming in too, some other uh, GameCube games. But yeah, uh, GameCube is definitely a hot commodity right now. There. The pandemic is causing GameCube prices to shoot up, up, up. But yeah, man. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the twenty dollars, Double D. You guys give some love, respect. I don't have a, I don't. I'm gonna put a what's it called for Double D. I'm gonna put a, a, a command for Double D in the chat as well, or uh, for Double D. So I'll do it. I'll do it after the stream ends. So shout out to my man. Make sure you guys follow uh, David Drayton on Twitter. Um, David, if you can post your Twitter, actually, I'll post this Twitter link. I'll do it. Post your Twitter link if you want some like encouragement, knowledge. Double D is. I just I just hope that you don't disappear, David. You seem like one of the people that you're gonna just disappear from the internet one of these days, and I'm not. I'm never gonna be able to find you. So if you if you do that, you gotta let me know beforehand so I can actually like stay in touch with you. But don't do that without letting me know. You guys go follow him over there on Twitter. Um, also, uh, okay, yeah, we got everybody. I sold, I sold tires for almost six years. So, 
tries. I have a GameCube, but I don't care about Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. It's a good game. Uh, I saw the trailer for the new DQ game, Infinity. Infinity. St Strash? Dragon Quest, The Adventures of Die. It looks amazing. Is that a game or is that a movie? I think that's a movie, isn't it? Hey, Shadow2266, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? All right, next up, music-wise, we've got... Um, a, a Xenoblade track. So, Xenoblade music. You will know our names from the definitive edition. Let's go, baby. It's a, um, it's a game that got announced yesterday, but the trailer was only shown in Japan, I believe. Okay, cool, cool. OJ, I'm, I'm just watching and spectating. All right, so you just, that's called lurking, right? Because you said that you're leaving a while ago. It seems like you're back. Um, these GameCube prices are ridiculous. Yeah, they, they are pretty ridiculous. Um, they are pretty ridiculous. Oh, snap. Yo, Nightshade with the Toby Blister. Let's go. Let's go. Power up with that Jutsu. My man, Nightshade with the 20 says, had to hit that third Toby Blaster. Is that a Toby Blaster train? Three Toby Blasters in a row? Oh, my God. And a JoJo. I'll do the JoJo in just a bit. Had to hit that third Toby Blaster for the village. Real talk, though. We do appreciate everything you do. You still you still got a good stream in last night, and you shouldn't uh, let your internet going out bring you down too much. We have a great community here to support. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Like I said, man, it's like I said, I, I like to deliver on things, and when I don't, I treat this very seriously. I know people talk about games, but y'all don't understand how serious I treat. I know mean, some of y'all do, but like this is very, very serious for me. Like this is... My passion, I'm very, very passionate about it. I know I make jokes and I seem lackadaisical at times and I'll, I'll forget certain things and all that. But I, when I tell you guys that I'm very serious about this stuff, I'm very serious about this stuff. Like, I'm super serious about, you know, optimizations in the background, thinking about new ideas, all sorts of stuff, you know. So, when something doesn't go the way that I want it to go, it's really disappointing. Especially when you plan it for a month, you know. So... When I don't deliver, because you guys do support. I feel like I let you guys down, but thank you. Thank you for the 20. Then also, Knight, or, uh, Eric P. with the Joe. Joe. Thank you so much for the 10. And he says, as weird as it sounds, I have it on Switch and OG Xbox. I really want cell damage on the cube, bro, and I love it. Yeah, cell damage is good. It's an interesting game. Also, Barber with the 499 through Super Chat, that JoJo beatdown. Thank you for the 10, though. Yo, Eric P. showing huge support. You guys give some more love. JoJo love. By the way, we're getting JoJo emotes, guys, uh, by the way. Um, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, he says, uh, shout-outs to Direct Feed Games. Thanks to the uh, Twitter link. I found the, um, I found the, found Other M for 10 bucks. Oh, yeah, Other M is $10. I still have my original copy when I bought it for six, or 50, 50. Uh, thank you, Barber, for the 4 dollars Then also, KJP. Yo, KJP is becoming somebody who's coming through a lot lately. KJP, an elite ninja here in the village with the... Joe! Joe! With the 10, and he says, let's all get a little happier with some Jupiter Lighthouse. Ooh. From my favorite RPG series, Golden Sun, The Lost Age. KJ, I can... You're a Golden Sun guy. I can tell. I can tell. You're, by the way that your tone and the way that you talk, you're... You're, you're, you're a very clean, clean cut type of person. You're, you're definitely the type of dude that would be into Golden Sun. I knew it. <laughs> Shout outs, man. Thank you for the 10. I appreciate the JoJo. Thank you for the support on the stream earlier, the, jo uh, the, the, the Xenoblade stream, too. Um, I understand that, OJ. I see where you're coming from. Yeah. But thank you. Either way, thank you for the support. No, I see. What, I, I, my, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling better. Like, I'm, feel, I'm feeling better, guys. So it's just like, it, it's cool. It's cool, you know? Um, just like we just got to make it up and we just got to do better in the future. You know, I got to do better in the future That's all it really what really comes down to I just got to do better in the future, you know, and I will I promise I will 
I understand your feelings, but please not try not to feel too upset about it. I personally don't feel the best when I see my friends upset, regardless of uh, you will do uh, with great content. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better, guys. Thank you, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. I'm feeling better now. I'm not, I'm not as upset um, because you guys are okay with it. But like, people were like, a lot of people were hitting me up like, "Yo, where's the stream at?" You know, so it's just kind of like, <sighs> you know. And we were doing so good, man. Like, we were, we had really, I mean, we had like 200, 300 people in there. You know, we had like hello viewership too. So it's all good though. Um, um, all right, next up is music wise next up is uh banjo kazooie mad monster mansion from banjo kazooie mad monster mansion banjo kazooie all right Just relax, homie. It's 2020. Nothing all right. Uh, nothing right. Yeah, I know, man. I know. I'm good. I'm good. I feel much better, guys. Thank you. Uh, skipping tracks. Hey, what's up, my boy? Skipping tracks. Good to see you here. Welcome. OJ, I'm not uh, that mad, uh, but I do have to donate. Consider um, Hokage level. Uh, no, you don't have to. No, it's it's. No, you don't have. It's all optional, guys. There's no. I don't want people saying, "Yo, my mom told me that you shouldn't do this." So no, velvet. No, it's all optional. Nothing's ever. You don't ever have to do anything. Your support, your pure eye, you've been here for a long time. I, I appreciate your support. You guys' viewership is, is good. No, you don't have to. You're good, but uh, I, mean, I don't want to sit there and say that you have to. I, I'll never say that you have to do anything, you know. Um, anything's, everything's always optional, guys. Everything's always optional. Um, am I going to miss you? I just read your comment. I just read your comment. I guess the stream's a little bit behind for you. I don't regret pre-ordering other M. Game is a little uh, clunky, but fun. Yeah, it's, I, I had fun with the game. Except for, like, the game, like, there was a uh, a game-killing bug where the door wouldn't open. Then I had to send my I had to send my data into Nintendo. Uh, and another problem is that my hands are too big for that game. The little D-pad and the little buttons and going like this back and forth. I just, that game is just, I mean, it's fun if you can play it, but it's just, it's just kind of a mess at times, you know? Um, so yeah, when is PS5 coming out exactly? I mean, one, one-handed one gamer, if PS5, if we knew the exact date of when it was coming out, I think we would know, right? Um, but it's coming out holiday, that's, that's what they've given. They might give us a release date at the event, but the event is on June, so, or June 4th. So we'll, we'll, maybe we'll find out then, maybe not, but we don't know the exact date, but it's, it's holiday 2020, that's, that's the general time window. Um... I remember that bug, luckily it didn't happen to me. It was very easy for it to happen though, because all you have to do is backtrack from one area. All you have to do is progress in the story to one area, then backtrack to a different area, and you were locked out of the other area going forward. So that's it was very easy to run into that bug. That was the problem. Oh, also Skyward Sword, that game had a game-breaking bug. Oh, also Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, that game had a game-breaking bug too as well. Like Nintendo in the Wii era with no patches, was very difficult a lot of their games shipped well not a lot but a lot of their bigger games did ship with game breaking bugs with certain things that and then it would take a while to get it fixed because nintendo did not have a relevant or a good patching system in play you know for for their games so i, I think like even for some games that they, they released a whole damn a wii channel that would fix your game which was the most awkward thing that i've ever seen you know um Really awkward. Wow, lots of game breaking bugs. Never knew. Yeah, some of them were harder, harder than 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 not to activate. It just depends. But Metroid Other M's was extremely easy to activate. I was actually able to avoid Skyward Swords and avoid Twilight Princesses by reading on the internet. Like, oh snap! Like, hey, there's a game breaking bug. This is what you have to do. This is what will happen. So I was able to avoid those. But Metroid Other M, I did not avoid that one. I was just playing the game and I was like, oh, backtracking. Metroid, there's always backtracking to Metroid Other M. And all you gotta do is backtrack in one area and bam, you're locked out of the game. Uh, Wii channel to fix games, players to elaborate. Yeah, so um, sometimes Nintendo, like in order to have these, like the Wii era, Nintendo did not have like updates like they normally have, like patching games. They didn't have that for Wii games. You couldn't really patch games like that. Um, so what they would do in order to patch a game is that Nintendo would, put a whole channel so the wii was like a tv interface right like each one of them were like different channels that you can play right because it was like a tv remote that's kind of like the theme for it 
and they would release a whole channel in order to fix your game. So what you do is I think that you just boot up, you put your game in, the, in there, you uh, boot up the channel, you download the channel off of the uh, the Wii Shop, and then you um, and then you it, it like downloads or it updates through that channel, and then that's all the channels there for. Um, after you do that, I guess you can erase it or you leave it there, but that's essentially what what that was about. That's how they fixed their games beforehand. I'm not sure if Metroid Other M ever got that. I think Metroid Other M the only way was to either restart or was to send your data into Nintendo. So I'm not 100% sure with that game. I just ended up sending my, I, you just send your data into Nintendo. If you send it on an SD card, then they send it back to you on an SD card. <laughs> um, so yeah. Eric P with another $5 donation. Yo, you guys give some big love to Eric P. Extending that stream, showing his inner rebel. That top stream ninja lead, stream Hokage lead. Says when I see you in person at too many games, when it happens, uh, you getting a personal Toby Blaster, LOL, East Coast voice. <laughs> you gonna hit me with the personal Toby Blaster? Yeah. Hopefully I can go to too many games next year. We'll see what the World Health Organization, despite America not being part of it anymore. But um, that's beside the point. Um, we'll see what everyone what, what the you know what the landscape of you know of what things are you know with it next year but yeah i do plan on traveling next year hopefully everything's good by then um all right let's see here next up in terms of music is eric i don't know if dank if you if you gave dank some some tracks uh papa jenkin you didn't ask me any for any tracks Dave, double d you didn't ask me for tracks either um a lot of you guys were just helping out so i do appreciate that um, but if you guys have music that you want to play, just tell Dank and he can put a list together for me. Um, Barber, you can request the music if you want. Um, KJ says, let's play some, what, K KJP. Um, we had three dropouts just waiting for midnight Eastern to see if the reserves responded. Otherwise, the turning will be 30 person. All right, cool. Sounds good. We might be able to even take an elite ninja from the like from the stream if they're there. Um, but we'll have to test their internet. Um, Golden Sun, Golden Sun, the Lost Age. Um, yeah, Nightshades. Yeah, send some tracks to Dank. Golden Sun. I'm gonna open up. Uh, I'm gonna open. I'm actually gonna open up my own tab here, and uh, write down you guys' music. Actually, don't send it to Dank. Just tag me. Just tag me and I'll just get all the... It might not be in the order of what you guys donated, but I'll get all the music played. Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Uh, Jupiter. Jupiter Lighthouse. That sound, I, this song is actually pretty, like, pretty sick. I like it. You made me decide to pick up Xeno. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm at the raid on Colony 9, so it's good. Um, I can't figure out how to topple the mech on. Um, whoa, wait a minute. What's... Oh, why'd you... Wait, hold up. Why'd you delete his comment? He's just asking a question. I can't figure out how to... Um, I can't figure out how to topple the... Um... No, that's not, that's not a spoiler. He just wants to know how to topple the mech on. He's just asking for a tip. Um, I'm on easy mode. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> Put on that fraud easy mode that's the first problem uh the second problem is this um how to topple mech on you got to use break so use the uh pink uh the pink little icon anything that can inflict break shulk has it so pick shulk and inflict break if you use your talent art before you get the monado that can inflict break as well your talent art that's in the center or the pink one um that's on there the stream edge or whatever that is that can also inflict break as well once it inflicts break, Ryan will inflict topple with his wild down. So then he'll inflict topple on from there. And that's how you do it with the, from on, on the mech on. All right. So inflict break first with Shulk with the pink, the pink uh, talent art on there. Um, or use the, 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 the center one that can inflict break as well before you get your Monado. Um, and then Rain or Rain, speaking IGN, Ryan should, um, uh, should topple them with wild down. Uh, yo, shout out Sleepy King. Um, yeah, it's, it, I mean, he's just, 
it's just the tip. It's just the. It's just he's just asking how to topple a mech on. You know, uh, at the beginning of the game. That's that's not a spell. That's just he just needs some help. He's playing on easy, so obviously he's not too experienced with RPGs. Just give, him, give, give him a little bit of help. I don't know. I don't know if it's a spoiler to ask for help how to topple a mech on. <laughs> I mean, like, we've already seen the Mechons. They're in the trailer. Like, we've seen Nintendo has shown quite a bit of uh, Mechon uh, action. So I don't know if he's asking for a little bit of help at the very beginning of how to topple a Mechon. I don't think that's a spoiler. I personally don't think it's a spoiler. Now, if he's asking for how do you beat the final boss, like, okay, I get that, or how do you beat this boss, but, I mean, a Mechon at the beginning of the game from, from a newbie? I mean, I don't, I don't think that's a spoiler. <laughs> Because the Mechon enemies are already known. The Mechon enemies, like, now if, if the Mechons were these secret enemies that you don't know about, Nintendo has shown that you you see you see she you you see these Mechons flying in. You see them coming down. You know that they're metal. You know that you know. Like Nintendo has shown very clearly that there's enemies called Mechon. And all he was asking is like, hey, I'm having trouble fighting this Mechon. You know, at the beginning of the game. So I I don't think that's that's a spoiler to ask for help at the beginning of the game for like how to fight a Mechon. You know. Um. <laughs> so that it all out. That's it's not a it's not a spoiler though. He didn't mention like for example like if he would have said like hey at the beginning of this game this what happens to this character and blah 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 then okay. But the the man just needs a little bit of help on how to fight an enemy. He just wants to know how to inflict. He just wants to know how to inflict. He didn't even spoil what happens or what to do. He just asked for help. I don't think that's a spoiler. I don't think that's a spoiler. That was very, that was very innocent. That was very, very innocent. He just, he just needs a little bit of help. <laughs> uh, OJ, big bro, uh, two plus years at Hokage level. Uh, Kanochi, uh, my loyal for the village, is documented two and plus five years, uh, five months, 28 days at Hokage level. Kanochi, yes, shout outs. Thank you so much, Velvet. I appreciate the long-term support and your boyfriend Jeremy, Elite Ninja backup as well. So, <clears throat> this is mechanics at the beginning of the game. Are, are yeah, Nintendo actually. The funny thing about it is that Nintendo actually put out a video, the everything about everything about Xenoblade Chronicles, where they show you inflicting break on how to inflict break on enemies and stuff like that. So they even told you, you know, like, hey, this is how you inflict break. So he just obviously he didn't see that trailer. So he just needed, to, he or he just, whatever, wasn't paying attention at the time, or just whatever the case is. So he just needed a little bit of help, you know, just so we can help, help this man out, you know? Um, let's see, thanks for coming to my defense. OJ, I didn't mean to spoil anything for anyone. Yeah, I, I knew you did it. I knew you did it. Uh, it. It's in the advertising for the shows. Yeah, I knew you did it. I knew you. It's all good, Layton. It's just that we try to make sure that, um, especially after what happened, um, the reason why um, we're being a little bit sensitive towards things is because we had a major spoiler for The Last of Us 2 recently. Um, so that's the reason why everyone's just a little bit on heightened, heightened mode when it comes down to it. And, like, we had some people that weren't, I mean, like, we had some people that weren't happy about that, you know, like that reached out to me. So everyone's just trying to be on, you know, we're, we're I guess we're on eggshells here because we had a little bit of a, of a pretty little bit of an issue, you know? So, um, do I like Xenoblade so far? Hector, let me ask you a question. Have you watched any of my videos on Xenoblade? Uh, I'm going to ask you a question. How about that? Have you watched any of my videos on Xenoblade? I'll let, I'll give you a chance, Hector. I'll give you a chance to, um, to answer that in just a bit. Let me go put on some socks. My personal fan in here is making this room super cold. So I just got some nice, warm, clean socks. I'm going to let you guys pick which ones. Should I go with the gray or should I go with the black? The gray and black or the, 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 the gray? Which one? I just got these out of the dry. They're nice and fresh. Which, which one? Black and gray? Press one for gray. Press two for black. One for gray. 
two for black. Press three, press three for one gray pair and one black pair. Plus, press three for one gray and one black. <laughs> black socks matter. <laughs> they do. Gray socks matter too. Three. Everyone's saying three. Everyone's saying three. Yo, Eric P with another. Joe. Joe. And he says, glad you're in a good mood again. You best. I need Final Fantasy, set, uh, Final Fantasy 9 battle uh, music. I'm a firm believer that 9 is better than 7. I think 9 is better than 7 too. All right. The three. You guys have spoken. The fans have spoken. We've got gray and we've got black. Let's go. All right. So gray and black. These are really good socks. Um, get the Russell athletic socks they're super good they're nice and warm but they're thin so they're not like they're not like super super like thick but then again they're not super thin so they're perfect for winter and they're good for like exercising and they're good just for like home usage around the house so all right i've got my gray gray and or no, hold up wait this is my gray gray and black this this is black there you go so we got both of them in there let's go um usually we do songs on donation on, on donations velvet but like the sincere hokage tier we can give you one for sure if you got it if you got a song but it can't be copyrighted um all right all right next up is um ff uh final fantasy tactics or final fantasy nine nine battle theme um all right this man was streaming without socks on i know i might i, I that's almost that's pretty much naked right like, <laughs> how dare me stream without socks on that's just that's just not right um let's see here uh shulk still ugly eh? <laughs> uh, i don't know man i don't i don't know man i haven't seen i haven't seen any videos on Animal Crossing sales, you want to talk about that, my man? You want to talk about the ugly? What about those Animal Crossing sales, Barry? <laughs> oh my gosh, good to see you here. Welcome to the stream, Barry. You can play your favorite Xenoblade track? All right, let me put it down on my list here. Uh, Velvet, what do you want to? Thank you for being Hokage tier, Velvet. We'll, we'll definitely get you get you a track. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles. So I got a list here. I'm gonna play multiple tracks from Final Fantasy IX for for Mr. Eric P for uh, for supporting the stream so much. Um, Nightshade and the go the guys, can you guys tell me again what you wanted? Nightshade or Double D? Uh, all the guys that like Papa Jakin, all the guys that donated earlier that didn't request the song, can you guys let me know in the chat right now so I can put it down on my list so, so I can play uh, continuous music? Um, Xenoblade X better than Xenoblade Chronicles? I can see why people think X is better than Chronicles. Yeah, like, they have a different focus. Did I miss the Xenoblade sales? Uh, yeah, we went over it just briefly. Uh, Xenoblade is number one on Amazon.com. I can go over it again. Xenoblade is number one on Amazon.com uh, for video game bestsellers, uh, new releases. It's actually over The Last of Us, but it came out first before The Last of Us, so of course it's going to be over it. Um, but it's good to see. It's good to see Xenoblade, you know, this time around, be at the top of the bestsellers. And let me let me double check to see just in case. Yeah, so right now um, for new releases, Xenoblade is the number one game. Xenoblade's number one. Last of Us is number two. Baron's favorite game, Animal Crossing, is number three. Uh, the Xenoblade Definitive Edition work set is number four. So that's actually pretty cool, right? Like, check this out, guys. Three million sold. I can see Xenoblade selling three million. Yeah. Um, I can see it selling three million. Um, so here's the here's the best sellers list. So Xenoblade's number one, Last of Us number two, Animal Crossing, um, and it's good to see, it's good to see this right here, Bioshock up here at number eight. That's good to see too. 
These are great games. These are really good games. So it's good to see good to see Bioshock and Borderlands as well. Um, good. I think these are good value. In my opinion, for 50 bucks, I think these are good value for all the content that you get. You know, so good to see those games doing well. But I mean, I mean, look at Xenoblade, dude. Look, look at Xenoblade go. We got number one spot. We got number four spot, and we got the number nine spot. Look at Xenoblade go, baby. Digital collector's edition and also physical. I like it. I like it. Uh, Black Waltz. Okay. I played Xenoblade in handheld. Yeah, I played it yesterday. Um, let's see. I mean, uh, that's where Xenoblade belongs, as I said. Um, as I said last night. Exactly. Um, all right, take it easy, sports living. <laughs> um, okay, we're just gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to time you out for just a second. <laughs> you're, you're doing too much. Um. Uh, so, what's the music that you wanted, Velvet? What's the music that you wanted? And I'll just just tell me what you want, and I'll and I'll and I'll put it down. But they did say Xenoblade's more of a remaster, though, not a remake. The Digital Foundry did say that. This is the first time me playing Xenoblade One, and I gotta say I'm feeling it. Hey, Jessica Hayes, I like that. Jessica Hayes, if you don't mind me asking, not to put you on the spot, but are you actually female? You posted yours? Okay, what, let me see Nightshade. Where is it at? I'm sorry, there's so many comments going down. I, I must have missed it. The mismatch drip. Nightshade, mix and match. I don't know. I don't see. Dang it, dude. I didn't see where you put it, Nightshade. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to, to put it again. Capcom versus SNK. All right. Capcom versus SNK. Uh, God, Rugal, Boston. All right. Yes, you're female. Okay. First of all, hey, thank you for watching the the um, the stream. I appreciate that. My my uh, female numbers. Um, are a lot better than what they used to so thank you for watching the stream thank you for watching the videos thank you jessica i just wanted to personally thank you because like you want to have good numbers like i want to know like i want to have you know good numbers of because there's tons of female gamers that watch content but i had like the worst numbers and like my numbers have been so much better so to all the females that are watching and women that are watching the stream or watching the content, thank you so much for balancing my numbers out. We're at like 14% female viewership now, which is incredible, you know, for a gaming channel like mine. Whereas usually a lot of guys are like at 90 something, you know, male to female. So thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Keep lifting them weights, cuz. <laughs> is that, I don't know if that's it. <laughs> um... Baron, Baron, you, you don't get the demand music, Baron. We're taking it from people who donated. But I'll play one for you since you the homie. And you help out on the on the podcast. <laughs> Xenoblade X trailer theme. Alright, Xenoblade X trailer theme. Alright. We'll get that in just a bit. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get um let me see if Nightshade. Okay, Dragon Quest, main theme. All right, all right. We're going to get Nightshades next because he's been asking for a while now. So. All right. Hey, Baron, I'm going to need you on the podcast next week, though. Do whatever you can to see if you can be on the podcast because it's episode 100 and it's going to be after the Sony event. So whatever you can do to see if you can get on the podcast next week, that'd be dope. We're going to have some cool guests as well. Um, all right. Dragon Quest Eleven soundtrack main theme. Sorry for making you type it in multiple times, Nightshade. I'm sorry about that, man. Oh, no, that's not it. Let 
gonna try try to get on if you can uh pso2 pioneer billy hatcher about it all right i got you double d sorry I, I think you probably typed it in sorry for making you type it in again we'll get it in just a bit we got a we got a lot of music to play guys so we'll be good Uh, nah, bro, I copied and pasted that. <laughs> Gotta work smarter now. All right, hey, there you go. Well, sorry for making you find your own comment and or copy and paste it again, essentially. You know? Um, who's going to try Battlefront 2 when it drops? Oh, yeah, Battlefront 2 is uh, free on PS Plus next uh, next week, right? I'm not going to play it, though. I don't, I don't pay for PS Plus or Xbox Live or game pass i don't do any of that crap the only thing i pay for is uh is for uh, nintendo switch online and to be honest nintendo sends me nintendo sends me codes i just forget to use them probably i'll probably give those away or something like that baron's the goat of rants baron is definitely one of the the best ranters in the in the business it makes sense though since he's a, he's a freaking professional wrestler on aew Baron's, I don't know if Baron's going to be ready to go criticizing Sony. I, I can't wait for this event. It's going to be fun. I think I had PS Plus for a year and never paid for it after that. Yeah, I had PS Plus for... I think I had it for like six months because of Uncharted 4. I like to play the multiplayer. Like I used to play with Nintendo Ultra and um, some other people that played back then. And um, I I was just like I'm good I'm I'm done I don't I don't need to I don't need to buy this anymore. Um, all right, next up is uh, Xenoblade Chronicles OST main theme. Like I said, we're gonna get um, like I said, it might be out of order when you guys requested it, but we still are gonna get we're gonna get all of you guys' uh, um, music requests in. All right. 9.2 teraflops boost mode dude i'm telling you ps4 or ps5 is gonna be sick you're underestimating the system baron rgt's rants yeah rgt can have some nice rants too uh we're we're in q a um we're in q a so if you guys have questions feel free to drop uh drop them in the chat at player since hashtag players is just player essence we're more than happy to answer questions for you guys I meant to ask you this earlier. Um, I saw Stealth and Wood talking about Nintendo brand ambassador program ending. Is this true? I plead the fifth. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, I plead the fifth. Oh, um, Aron donated two dollars. Says, can you play Theme X? Um, I plead the fifth. Um, I'll say this. Um, I am still. A Nintendo am ambassador there are still I'm still gonna work with Nintendo um, going forward so you know that's what I'll say I'm gonna work with Nintendo going forward I personally am still working with Nintendo going forward as an ambassador or as a person that works with them so I can't confirm anything that was said in terms of what was ending and what was starting. All I know is that I'm still going to work with Nintendo going forward. And I think, like, Miss Click is also still going to work with Nintendo going forward. And Roger, you know, Roger's base is still working with Nintendo going forward. So those who are, I mean, I just, there are people that are still working with them. That's in, like, a Nintendo ambassador role or whatever. But anything else, I plead the fifth on that. That's, that's, what, I, that's what I know. I know that I'm still working with them going forward and doing stuff, so... There you go. Um, but yeah, apparently Wood is not, you know, the, the program or whatever, you know, so. I plead, I plead, I plead the fifth. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hopefully I answered your question the best that I can.
Uh, well, that's good to hear. Um, I honestly figured that. Yeah, yeah. They actually just sent me a... Um, shout out to Nintendo. They actually just sent me a, um, a Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition work set. So that's very nice of them. So I thought I was just going to get a digital code. But they ended up just saying, hey, here's a, here's a freaking digital... Or here's a freaking box. Cool box with all this cool stuff in it for you. Um, all right, next up is Golden Sun Track 1 Prologue. Essentially, no comment. <laughs> I mean, look, uh, there's. <laughs> I'm working with Nintendo going forward, so I know that. Uh, what happened to Wood? That's some very unfortunate. Um, you know, but I, don't, I don't know anything else outside of that that I can talk about at least. I mean, his channel's still good, though, right? I mean, he's gonna have a million subscribers. This, this man's got a million subscribers. This man's got sponsors out the yin yang so i mean the man's still good he's still good he's he's he'll be all right you know he'll be all right no 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 i didn't say anything about yes no 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 i didn't say what's no 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 all i said all i know is that i'm i'm still gonna be working with them going forward but i don't know about anything about what's ending and what's starting and what's this and what's that nothing that i'll talk about but i just know going forward i'm working with them you know Gustavo Rodriguez, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, please let the people know that Final Fantasy IX is amazing. Final Fantasy IX is amazing. It's actually a really good game. It's actually a really good game. Mega Man Battle Network for the but but for Switch Battle Network. I like Legends first if we could get Legends, but I think both of them would be dope. I was a 3DS ambassador. Not really as cool, though. I was a 3DS ambassador, too. The people who bought the 3DS before they did the price drop and they gave you, like, 20 virtual console games or whatever. Golden Sun was my first RPG besides uh, besides Blue Version. I remember the opening story was intense for me as a little kid, but the game uh, paved my love for JRPGs, RPGs. Yeah, Golden Sun was... That was what Nintendo was trying to do. That was supposed to be, like, an introductory slash somewhat advanced RPGs for uh, kids at that time. Um, so it, it was very good to see that franchise. For me, I was a bit older when that came out, but I still loved it. I still played Golden Sun on my GBA. Um, I don't know who your friend Miguel is. Shout out to Gustavo. Good, good to see you here, man. You said the uh, the magics the magic word that woke me up, Mega Man Legends. Hey, there you go. See, Mega Man Legends that'll wake people up, right? Bro, I had to play Final Fantasy IX with no sound for over half the game. Why? What happened? Glitch? Bug? PlayStation broken? FF4 was my first RPG. It was in middle school. Nice. Uh, so many good memories. Nice, nice. My first, I think my first RPG was like Dungeons and Dragons back in the day, or like Final Fantasy One or Fantasy Star. I played one of those old school ones. All right, next up is PSO Two or PSO Pioneer Two, and then we got Billy Hatcher. We got Double D's uh, requests here. I remember you used to request this one back in the day too, right, Double D? Like when you first when you first got here, I remember you used to request this a, a, a bit. And you used to always make, uh, P I remember you used to, didn't you used to always, Double D, I remember, you used to always make, like, um, PSO2 summoning type of memes in the, in the, uh, on the Discord, right, Double D? And, like, you showed off your, uh, like, your, uh, your GameCube, what was it? I know you used to do stuff with PSO2 all the time, right? Am I, am I incorrect on that? I know it's been a little bit. Um, first real RPG was Final Fantasy, CS Bailey says, yeah. I would, I would have uh, screamed reparations if Nintendo would have ended the program with you. <laughs> yeah, you know what, man? It would, have been, it would have been upsetting if Nintendo ended the program. You know, obviously, you know, business as usual here. I mean, I still would have... I still buy all of Nintendo's games regardless. Like, I bought... I digitally bought the definitive work set and I digitally bought Xenoblade Chronicles. I buy most of the games anyway. I still buy Smash and... All that stuff so 
Um, so it would have been business as usual for me, but obviously like getting some of the scoops like the Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, you know, demo, the virtual demo, getting hands on with Fire Emblem, you know, them inviting me to certain type of things and stuff like that before in the past. Like that stuff's cool, you know, that stuff's really cool. And hopefully going forward, we're going to see like a lot more of that, hopefully so. Uh, yeah, I know. I remember that was you, Double D. Let me play it one more time because the song's short. Let me play it another time. <laughs> I remember. I thought I thought you were like faking. I, I for some reason I thought that you were somebody that was just here just because like you like not because you actually play, like I don't know why but maybe it's just because of your picture. But I was thinking, man, I don't know. Is he actually here because he plays games or he's just here just because he randomly ran into and thought it'd be funny to troll me? That's what I first thought when you came in. I didn't think you were. Like an actual gamer like i said that's a horrible way to do it right by looks don't don't ever do that guys but i was just thinking you never know it's the internet right i'm, I'm naive too at the time we didn't have the type of village so i thought that i thought wow this 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 good looking dude is just here to troll me or something like that you know just make fun of me or whatever the case is you know but no no he's actually like a real gamer he's like legit <laughs> it's a cool dude <laughs> Uh, Mala is gonna. Uh, I'm going to need you to go ahead and make Golden Sun. Thanks, Mala Soft by Golden Sun. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, that'd be dope. Uh, Big Boomer. Uh, what would you recommend as far as JRPG story games? Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, for sure. <laughs> Scream reparations, right? <laughs> that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh man, that that that's half of the reason why the riots are going right now. They're thinking maybe we'll get some rapper. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. That's I'm joking. There's a lot of issues right now, guys. There's a lot of issues right now. Uh, a lot of lot of issues going on in the world right now, man. Um. <clears throat> I'd be with it though, Juice Man. If they ever said it was happening, I'd be the first. I'd be the first. I'd be like, <laughs> even though I'm first generation. <laughs> be the first. I'd be the first person in line. I'll tell you that. <laughs> like, okay, well, what was your ancestors? Were they? Where, where, where was it? Where do you trace your ancestry from? Here in America, sir. Um, uh, over there in Kentucky. What part of Kentucky? Kentucky, Kentucky. <laughs> Super Kentucky. Can't tell that I'm from Kentucky. Can't tell that my lineage is from there. <laughs> we got pretty hard at Colum uh, Columbus, Ohio. What what's going on in Columbus, Ohio? You got you got riding there too. Remember when Cleveland got a uh, plate of Rice Krispie Cheese for reparations? Good times. Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> I do remember. <laughs> he says, bro, I I'm not even from America. I'll be a lie too. <laughs> Wait, where are you from, Juice? If you don't mind me asking, if you don't want to say that's fine though, but where are you from? Where's your like where's your family from? Oh, man. Um, if you guys have questions, feel free to drop the questions in the chat. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, Final Fantasy VII was my first JRPG I played in the late 90s, or was it Final Fantasy VIII? LOL. <laughs> you don't remember which one it was? They were both late 90s. I think Final Fantasy VII was 97. Final Fantasy VIII was 99? Oh, Trinidad and Tobago? Okay, nice, nice. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. Yo, this, this boss theme is kind of slapping right now. I remember, I remember, let me tell y'all a story with Billy Hatcher. I was kind of embarrassed to play this game back in the day. So when I, when I bought it from, or when I, not bought it, but when I rented it, like my friends would come over and I'd like hide the game. Like, what are you playing right now? And I'm like, oh, nothing. I take it out, hide the case. But I, I, I rented it like a lot. Cause like back then I was like, oh man, I can't see the, me playing Billy Hatcher. <laughs> I thought it was lame. 
Glad I don't, I'm glad I don't got to do that anymore. I don't give a damn what people think now. <laughs> hey, but good to see you here, Christian, man. Welcome to the stream. How you, how you feeling right now, man? How, how you doing? Billy Hatch's price is rising fast. Oh, more than Sonic games? Oh. Bro, the Sonic Team dev, though? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sonic Team dev. Billy Hatcher is great. They were the lame ones. Oh, no. I, I fully agree. The people that I hung out with, I mean, I don't know if they were, like, the stuff, like, that would happen were, there were some guys that I hung out with that were stupid as hell. Uh, there were some guys that were cool, but some guys that were dumb as hell that would, like, criticize, like, or, like, judge, too, too judgmental. Um, too judgmental. Um, gonna be listening to anime music to power me up tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. I highly suggest listening to having some anime music going while you're playing. You're gonna have the Samsora head bops going too, party man? Hey, Kingdom Hearts fan, 300. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Paul Paul says, uh, did you get the, is gonna buy European collection edition? No, I got the, uh, what? I got the US one. The bops are coming, there you go. The bops. I'm gonna have uh, you say run going on nonstop tomorrow. Oh man, y'all, y'all getting ready. Chuba's gonna, Chuba, you're gonna hit us with some Canada, Canada smash. <laughs> Canada, Q Quebec, Quebec smash, maple syrup smash. Let's get it. Party man bopping, looking kind of cute though. You gotta put the, you gotta put the what's it called? The, why didn't you put the emo? <laughs> that is, that sounds kind of weird too. Though. <laughs> you should have put the emo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's a sponge, I forgot. You just gotta put the gotta put the emo. Uh JS script says a uh, new setup looks dope. Hey, thanks man. I'm thinking, I'm liking I'm glad that you're liking the new setup. I like it too. In my little corner of the room, open up a lot of space in the office here. You know what I'm saying? Um got plenty of room for my green screen just to be out and about. Got my sound right here, my camera right here. So it's nice, man. I like it. I like it. Got my games right here. So it's good. Good stuff. I'm, 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 I like it. I like it. Just blessed. Blessed to be in the position that I'm in, man. Lucky. All right. So we got uh, Capcom versus SNK. And then we're going to get some more of your music, Mr. Eric P. We're just getting some of those other musics out of the way. And then Aron, we're still going to swing around. Uh, we, we got your music down too, Aron. So we just got a lot of music to play beforehand. So we'll get it for sure. I even watched the Teen Gohan vs. Cell fight to inspire me. Teen Gohan vs. Cell? Why does that inspire you? My first art, uh, JRPG was the original Final Fantasy on NES. Me too. I played that game so much mainly because I didn't have many games back then. Yeah, back then games were at a premium. KJ. Bracket, bracket looking kind of cute though. <laughs> Your bracket's looking kind of cute. Um, Rick Swaglord says, I definitely beat Final Fantasy 7. I started Final Fantasy 8 a bit, uh, uh, a bit new. Beat it due to life losing saves too many times. I'm playing PS3 now. Finished Final Fantasy 8 once and for all. Okay, there you go. Do you use Restream or Stream on YouTube and Twitch? Restream. Maybe not inspired, but getting me pumped up to fight. Yeah, that'll definitely get you pumped up to fight. Team Gohan? Team Gohan's my favorite Dragon Ball Z character of all time. It's Team Gohan. Team Gohan? Team Gohan and Trunks. Future Trunks and Team Gohan are my two favorite characters of all time. Team Gohan being my favorite. He's like my number one. My number one. Team Gohan is so sick. Team Gohan is super, super, super sick. I like Ultimate Gohan, but he's too. Ultimate Gohan's too cocky. That's the thing that I don't like about Ultimate Gohan. He's too cocky. Too cocky. Even when he, even when he wasn't as good, he was kind of cocky. Even in Dragon Ball Super. When he kind of comes back to what he was, he's still kind of a little bit too cocky for his own good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so yeah, Team Gohan's my favorite. 
that purple, that, that Piccolo, that Piccolo outfit, 13 years old, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 1, that's, that's, that, that's, that's peak right there, that's peak, peak character development right there, peak character development. Have the user scores post for Xeno yet? Um, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, the user scores are up. It's got a 9.0 right now so far. Out of 190 ratings, a 9 rating. 3 negative reviews, 55 positive reviews. Tons of people giving it a 10. One person gave it a 0 out of 10. <laughs> I love his review. His review says, um, he, um, Hisoka X, which is a Hunter Hunter reference, says... Um, the, the zero is because people praise this game too much, um, which he spelled to, it's supposed to be T-O-O, -O, not just T-O. Um, it is eight out of 10 or nine out of 10 if you like RPGs. Story is decent, but nothing spectacular. Graphics are good and RPG, system, RPG systems also, but the flaw is gameplay. It is slow and very heavy, boring after some time. Story is decent, nothing spectacular. Graphics are good, and RPG systems also. So the RPG systems are good, but the game, but but the flaw is gameplay. So the systems are good, but the flaw is gameplay. Slow and very heavy, heavy. I don't know what he's talking about. Heavy. It's boring after some time. Okay, but it's a. But he gave it a zero. He said it's an eight or. He said it's an eight or nine out of ten if you like RPGs, but it's a zero. Man, legit gave it three different scores, so he gave it a zero. Because other people are rating it too high. Look at look look at that. Look, that's a great review. That's a great review user review score. No, that wasn't a critic. That was that was a that was a user. That was a user. That was not a that, that was a user. Um that was a user review score. Alright, so Xenoblade Chronicles X trailer theme. That was this this theme is so good. This theme is so good. Hold up. Wait, no. This is not it. Um I think it's Xenoblade Chronicles Xenoblade Chronicles X debut debut trailer. That that one? I can't find a clean rip of that song. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm doing good, Salza Naruto. How you doing, man? This is my favorite game, 3 out of 10, Metacritic. <laughs> Pretty much. Any other questions, guys? Keep the questions coming. Wait, no, this is not it. No, this this is the this is not it. We gotta I'm just gonna play the, the, the original debut trailer. It's gonna have other background music in there, but or sound effects, but whatever. Awesome to see you streaming this late. Yeah, we had to do a late stream tonight. I remember when I first saw this. When I first saw this, hold up. Let me let me let's go. Let's let's get a little reaction. When I first saw this trailer back in 2013, by the way, I was covering games. I had my website, playersist.com, and I had my YouTube channel as well. Dude, I freaking flipped out. I thought this was like the most dopest thing that I've ever seen. Like I said, I watched this like live or whatever when Nintendo was doing their, their Wii U direct. I watched it live, so imagine how hype it was, especially in the Wii U era, when we weren't getting a lot of games, like when you saw this, whoo, when you saw this right here, you were just like, what? <laughs> this was nuts. You saw that? Just
so the speculation at this part was this is gonna be this was like like shulk 2.0 this was like their world's version because this person looks very very similar to shulk this person looks extremely similar to how shulk looks like very ex he looks extremely similar to shulk now the history behind this character is this monolith soft got about halfway through the development of xenoblade chronicles x and had to scrap this guy they had a main character they had him voiced they had somebody it was not going to be an avatar it was going to be this person as your main character they got halfway through something happened and they scrapped him and the story with him so it ended up you being an avatar and probably changed some of the story as well with it but this guy was originally supposed to be the main character in the game or definitely be a character in the game that you can customize maybe the way that he looks you know but this guy was supposed to be something but this person never materialized or another theory is that this person was just the created character avatar and that's who it was but i i just don't think i don't know if that was the case i don't know if that was the case i think this was supposed to be this world's version of shulk or something like that i'm not really sure but either way it was scrapped which was interesting which i hope they do a xenoblade chronicles x2 where they can kind of get back to that you know hey what's up classy lad but anyway this 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 was great back in the day man this this was this was fantastic i i thought it was so good i was i was hyped i was hyped for it all right let's get some final fantasy 9 music xenoblade chronicles x holds up extremely well today graphically it does uh final fantasy 9 9 theme this is for Eric P. Some more Final Fantasy IX music. This show made me want to show off to other people. We, it did. It did. It did. After the cliffhanger, we need Xenoblade Chronicles X2. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I might sense a flaw in that review. I might sense a flaw in, in, in that review. Yeah, just a little bit. Would that Xenoblade Chronicles X battle theme get you a strike? Nah, it, you, it, not, no strike. It used to get me copyright claims, though. Nintendo or Sony would copyright claim it. But no, it's good. The trailer doesn't get... Not anymore. Nintendo doesn't copyright anything anymore. So anything from Nintendo won't be copyrighted, although there's some trolls out there. But you can battle the trolls or you can scrub the music. Oh, dear, the Vegeta tank looking kind of cute, though. Looking kind of cute, though. Joy-Con boys looking kind of cute though. Um, hello everyone. My copy of Xenoblade Definitive Edition comes tomorrow for a Xenoblade game. I'll play. Nice, uh, Juan Salazar. Hopefully you enjoy it. Yeah, man. I was, I was like, oh, oh yeah. Now you see, guys. Now you see the Wii U. It's back on top with this trailer here. This game. It's gonna be the number one game of all time. You guys are gonna stop hating, and I'm gonna win, and you're gonna lose. <laughs> that was. <laughs> That was my thought process at that point. Dude, this, this, this is the greatest thing of all time. I win, you lose. You guys all suck. Um, <laughs> I hope the next Mama Soft isn't Xenoblade. Soma Bringer series deserves its turn there. Dude, Soma Bringer is Soma. Is Soma dead. <laughs> is so, somewhat dead? That's, 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 that's the abbreviation for Soma Bringer in the U.S somewhat dead that game that game's they're never gonna they're never gonna bring back some bringer they're not gonna bring it. it's like a diablo style portable type of ds game and while it'd be dope hey, they're not gonna bring it I'm back i'm gonna shake your hand i'm gonna shake your hand juice man vaughn donated uh one dollar i want to shake your hand sir he says play black tar from xenoblade chronicles x absolutely black tar we'll get that going for you um we're gonna get that in just a bit we're gonna get uh black waltz then we're going to get um, a Xenoblade Chronicles track. Then we're going to get Aron's track for Theme X. Then we'll get your music there. So we still got quite a bit to play. Um, I'm not sure if I can play this music, Black Waltz. Is that from Final Fantasy? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's from Final Fantasy Black Waltz. Okay, gotcha. After 2015, I lost all hope with the Wii U, so I didn't know. Yeah, it was done by 2015. It was done. It's all good, Skitzo. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Uh, finish the Xenoblade stream, probably. Um, we'll probably do like a big Xenoblade stream next week. Close to getting a Wii U, Nintendo just dropped it. Yeah, very unfortunate. Nintendo didn't do a good enough job of enticing people to buy a Wii U early. Xenoblade X carried the Wii U's 2015 holiday for me. Yeah, pretty much that's all they really had. And they had like, ten, I think they had like Ultra Smash Tennis or something like that. They didn't really have much because they were pretty much already done. And then they, the rest of their games was like, they had Pokémon Tournament for 2016. They had Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD for 2016. And then, and then they had Tokyo Mirage Sessions for 2016. And then after that, they were done. After that, they were done. Yes, yeah, but Splatoon was in May. Splatoon, Splatoon was May. He, an indie gamer was talking about the holiday. So Splatoon came out in May. There just wasn't really much for, for, for 2015. But yeah, they were already winding down on games. Super Mario Maker was 2015. Uh, was it early 2015? Or was it, when was Super Mario Maker in 2015? That was, you're right, it was that. It was 2015 as well. So yeah, you had Super Mario Maker, you had Splatoon. You know, you, you had some good games. Zealand Blade that's not horrible, you know. Xenoblade Chronicles X, Splatoon, uh, Splatoon 2, or sorry, Splatoon and Mario Maker, that, that's that's not bad. But uh, I think it was uh, too little, too late at that point, you know? Um, all right, next up, uh, we got Xenoblade Chronicles. Definitive Edition OST. We're going to play something new from the new one here. Play some uh, Colony 6. Hey, what's up, J2 Blue? A little late, uh, late again. It's all good, J2. We're just chilling. We're just hanging out, listening to some music and chilling. Um, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna be streaming for about another, probably got another uh, 15 to 20 minutes. I want to make it a nice, clean three-hour stream. Uh, but I want to get, some, I don't want to stream past 10 o'clock tonight. I want to get some rest for the. Um, I do. I, I want to play some Xenoblade tonight. I'm just gonna play my living room and uh, make some food and just relax. And then I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow morning. We got work tomorrow. We got a. Uh, Big Smash Brothers tournament. Um, if Chuba's still here, Chuba, Party Man, and people who know the rules, um, you guys are gonna have to carry me on this tournament, okay, guys? So please be available, um, you know, for uh, for stuff. I might need to get you guys uh, uh maybe even like uh, way I can direct message you guys, or you guys can be able to check it soon. So I don't, I don't want to break you guys' focus, but please help me out on when it comes down to like the rules and stuff like that. So I might, I might need you guys to carry me on this one. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> Um, y'all yeah, be a bit okay, but don't break your focus though, Chuba. Don't break your focus. Square needs to remake Xeno Gears. Yeah, it'd be nice. Thank, thank you, party man. Thank you, Chuba. I appreciate you guys. Arigato, arigato, designers. You guys are amazing. You can DM me on. Okay, Aron, you know the rule sets and all that. Okay, cool. I didn't know. Okay, Aaron, you've been studying the rule sets and you know all that. Great. I didn't know. Good stuff. Okay, so Aaron's going to be available too. I'm not playing around. Okay, you got floated? Okay. I'll be uh, I'll be getting up around 7 a.m. EST so you can hit me up. So I can hit you up. Okay, I'll, I'll, hit, you up. I'll hit you up at 4 a.m. my time, party man. No, I'm joking. I'll probably be, like, I'm going to get up, like, around maybe 7 o'clock my time. So 10 o'clock your time, party man. So then that'll give me two hours to really get everything prepared before the stream. Oh, you can DM on disc. Oh, you can DM on Discord. Okay, yeah, I know you can DM on Discord. I just, I just wanted them to have it like available, like have it like on their cell phone, ready to be able to see it quickly. You know, not, not. Uh, sorry, sorry. I thought Arm was gonna help out, but he's not. <laughs> Oops, I misunderstood that. Um, what's, uh, what's on the line for this tournament? I, it's like, uh, we have a more than $300 pot on the line for this tournament, like 350 bucks or something like that. It was like 300, then we got an extra, little bit extra funding. 
I've kind of put in there as well. So we got well over $300 pot, uh, bonus. We'll figure out the... I'll talk to Chuba and everybody and we'll see what's going to be like first through eighth place, what the payouts are going to be. So we'll kind of figure that out, you know. Um, but yeah. So the line is uh, first place is definitely going to... Uh, Chuba, what's the, what's the spread usually for first place? What's the spread that... Like, I don't want people that get, like, 7th or 8th or 2 7ths or whatever to not get anything. So, what's 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 the usual spread? Then we can kind of adjust it from there. I can look up the rules, though. <laughs> cool, Aaron. If you're going to be around, sure. The more people to help, the better. Um, all right, next up, uh, next up is music is, let's see here, Theme X. I just set up a payout on Twitter. Did he? Okay, let me look. Let me look just to make sure that I know what the payout is. So I can be sure of it. Where did he put that at? You gotta scroll up a bit in our chat. Oh, oh, you mean on the DM? Can somebody just, I'm, hold up. Did somebody just DM me again? All right, hold on. Let me see. All right, let me see. I know the. So I, okay, I know that I know we at 350 for the pot right now. I'm, I'm gonna put it to four. Okay, so Andre's gonna do a little bit more to 430. First 200 games or whatever. Second 100. Third 60. Fourth. 30 and then fifth through eighth are ten dollar e-shops okay okay that works dang okay two first place is gonna get a nice little chunk 200 okay first and second first second and third place that's not bad especially if um that's yeah, not bad it's not, it's not okay we can do that so andre's gonna do because like, i didn't know I didn't know he was going to do, I, I didn't know he was, when he, May, okay, so he said that May 7th, I didn't see that message, so, okay, so he's going to add another, he's going to add a bit more to that, okay, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good, sounds like a good deal. Oh, man. Oh gosh, I'm, see this is this is the reason why I don't live in that Los Angeles, like, right, Los Angeles right now. There's some uh, I don't want to talk about it, but there's some stuff going on, man. I had to get up out of there. Whew. I'll just stay here in my country bumpkin, my little country bumpkin Central Valley. <laughs> I'll just stay in my little country bumpkin Central Valley, man. I'm good. Um. Let's see here. Um, PE uh, PE podcast. Uh, PE podcast is next next Thursday, episode one hundred. Look out for it. Um, Spawncast is tomorrow, um, tomorrow night, nine a.m. E or nine p.m. Eastern. Chuba aiming for that ten dollar eShop card. <laughs> Is Chuba aiming for that? She was aiming for that eShop card. 
That eShop card looking looking kind of cute though. Um. I'm glad you're safe, OJ. It's a crazy world out there. Yeah, I'm safe. I'm safe. I am, uh, I'm super safe. The area that I live is in really safe, actually. Violent crime in the section that I live in rarely ever happens. Rarely. Murders and stuff like that rarely ever happen here. I mean, they happen, but in my section, it's very, very rare. Um, violence is very rare where I live. I'm safe. I'm gonna join just for the ten dollar eShop card. Why didn't anyone say that was the um, that was the price? I mean, all right, you, we got a spot available if you want to join, right? Ogachuku, what's up, man? Welcome. Grand Finals looking kind of cute, though. Only if you make it, though, party man. It will be looking kind of cute if you don't make it. I think you'll be kind of mad, though. <laughs> if you don't make it to Grand Finals, so you better make it there, bro. Better make it. It's not going to be looking cute, though. <laughs> uh, Alright. Next up is Black Tar. More Xenoblade X. Hope I won't go O2. <laughs> okay, Mr. Float King. That'd be fraudulent. If, if you went O2 after getting floated, <laughs> you're expelled from the village. <laughs> Pack your bags and never come back, Chuba. <laughs> That's fraudulent. <laughs> this man, number one C, got floated and went O2? Oh no, that's not right. That's, that's just not right, bull! <laughs> oh, man. At least I can't get 25th, yeah. Or what, what was what was it always like? Who was the guy that always got right out of the top? Like, always got like 17th or 9th or whatever. Who was, who was that guy in Smash 4? There was a guy that always got that same, and never quite got in, but always, I forgot who it was. No pressure though, Chuba, no pressure. Because since you're getting floated, you're actually going to face somebody somewhat tough in the second round. I would be concerned if Chuba went, oh, I mean, dude, it could ha the, the problem though is that it could happen. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's, it's not out of the realm of possibility. That's the thing. Because since Chuba's getting floated for the first round, whoever makes it past the first round is gonna be good. If you make it past the first round, it's gonna be good. You're, it, it's gonna be a solid. It's gonna be solid. So it's not gonna be a, a gimme or a freebie by any means. Yeah, and we're playing online. And we're playing online. That's another thing. So... Oh, you fight Slag or Psycho <laughs> well, <laughs> well, never mind then. Have a nice have a nice way to wrap to the next round. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> well, ne well, you fight... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You telling me you fight Slag or Psycho fight? Never mind. I changed mine. I, ch I changed mine. Um, let's see. <laughs> I did play Borderlands and Bioshock. They both look good. I haven't played XCOM 2 yet, but I'm sure the graphics are good. Yeah, I've heard that XCOM 2 is pretty good, Ronald. My, my, my boy Jackson, who's one of the old, old heads from um, PlayerSense.com, he let me know on Twitter. Um, good thing the goat is the goat might be the goat might beat one of you guys. That's the funny thing. Didn't he beat VC one time? 
didn't and and he he kicked me so hard i lost two stocks dude like we were playing then all of a sudden i got his, his back his <laughs> somehow he reacted fast enough jumped up and back aired me and knocked two stocks off of my fox in one kick so i mean my man my man the goat you never know you never know with him you never know i'm gonna tell slack not to choke yeah don't choke don't choke bro don't choke um do not choke let's see i'm gonna get some more final fantasy tactics battle music guys or music for mr eric p all right under the stars we're gonna get this one guys and then we'll we'll, we'll call it a stream we will call it there then and there uh, so we'll get this one going pretty much got everybody's music so we good on that according to the bracket I'm against VC okay against VC good luck apparently he has a secret he has a secret character according to th3 he has a secret character that he's gonna be revealing you know at the you know at the what's it called at the uh, at the at the tournament so we'll see he's usually king k rule but apparently he has a secret character you know that nobody knows of so this should be uh should be very 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 interesting very very interesting that's for sure Is it Bowser? I don't know if it's Bowser. Um, although if somebody spoiled it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel too bad since he spoiled certain things. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Wait, is it turning tomorrow? I wasn't keeping up. I'm not. Um, but I'm not um, even entered. Yeah, the, the tournament's tomorrow. Tournament's tomorrow, 9 a.m. Uh, PT, 12 p.m. Eastern. Man, this fan is so good. I love this fan that I have in my room, guys. It keeps me so cool. I don't even need to use my air conditioner anymore. It's so dope. I thought you were entered in though, Ethan. Um, if you want to enter, we've got a spot available if you want to enter. I mean, your corn's not looking too bad. So if you want to play, we've got a spot available. All right. So that was with that music. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to first and foremost say once again, sorry about everything with the, the stream, um, with the 12 hours Xenoblade stream, but we will make it up. Like I said, we will make up that 12 hours time. I uh, got about eight more hours to go with it, so we will make that time up. So sorry about that, but thank you guys so much for making me feel better. I do appreciate that. I'll do my best going forward, of course. Um, I want to give some big love and shout outs to everybody who donated tonight. Seriously, I'm going to go over some of the names or all of the names. Um, shout outs to like Nightshade, Ibsters. Uh, Eric P, Nigel Sims, Arum, Cedric, uh, Lan uh, Lance, uh, Eric P. Big shout outs to Eric P. Donated multiple times. End of the night as a top stream engine stream Mokage. Uh, Mac Mega, my boy, Blue Bolt, Juice Man Vaughn, um, Alan E. With the Toby Blaster, getting the Toby Blaster going um, on the channel along with Arum. Uh, VISP, thank you, Vision as well. 10th Gen, Juice Man again, Blue Bolt, 
Papa Jakin donating quite a bit. Eric P. Once again, just multiple donations throughout the night from Eric P. Thank you. Um, Papa Jake and Double D, my man, Double D, Roundtable Ninjas in the stream. Let's get it. Um, uh, Eric P is pretty much Roundtable at this point, too. He's been supporting quite a bit. Um, Nightshade, once again, thank you for the multiple uh, support, Nightshade. Uh, thank you for the uh, blessing us with the great music as too. To, uh, KJP, who's been helping out quite a bit lately as well. Uh, thank you, KJP. Um, Aron, once again, thank you for the long-term support. Um, Aron's been around for a long time, PRI, so thank you so much. Roundtable member Juice Man Vaughn ended it out with that uh, black tar. So thank you guys, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. Oh, and Barber as well. Shout out to my man Barber, Elite Ninja here in the village. Um, really helping out. One of the sponsors that we had helped us out with some stuff. So thank you guys so much for the support. All the Elite Ninja, all the people participating in tomorrow's tournament. Uh, get some rest. Relax for tonight, guys. Get some rest um, and come in ready to go tomorrow. We're going to be getting things going around 9 a.m. Eastern or 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern time for the Great Ninja War 4 here on the channel. So it should be um, a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun. Um, that tournament should last a, a few hours for the tournament. A few hours. And then we'll have the spawn cast later tonight on Spawn Waves channel. So, um, uh, yeah, take a shower. I'll help you relax and focus, I guess. All right. So um, thank you guys so much for the support tonight. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are amazing. Um, let's get this thing popping tomorrow, though. Let's get this. Let's get this thing popping. Let's have a little bit of fun, and uh, guys, get some rest tonight. Play some Xenoblade. Relax. Get some food, and uh, get ready to go tomorrow. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you so much for everything, um, and I'll see you guys. Oh, and take it easy, Arash. Thanks for coming out to the stream. But you were hella late, bro. Uh, but thanks for coming out to the stream, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. All right. Peace out, guys.